I wonder if Orihime and Hikoboshi ever found each other. Bamboo leaves are swaying to and fro. Back and forth is how they go. Gold and silver twinkling stars. There! Hey, Ty, what'd you write down as your wish? Oh, me? I wrote down that I hope I can be a better cook. Really? I hope that I won't break any more dishes, too. I hope that I won't leave anything to rot in the refrigerator. And I can properly learn to sort the recyclables. What else? What else? Oh. You actually wrote down each one of those wishes? Sure did. What did you wish for, Tina Senpai? I kept it simple. I wish for the happiness of the entire Milky Way galaxy. Wow. That's so universal. Ain't it, though? <laughs> so, Awi-chan, what was it you wished for? Uh, uh, it's nothing, really. Hmm? Come to think of it, I've never mentioned this before, but Tanabata is also Lady Aoi's birthday. You're, You're kidding! kidding. Awi-chan's birthday is on Tanabata? Yes, it's true. spending with you. How would you spend your birthdays every year when you were still living with your family? Well, normally around this time of year, my father and mother both tend to be terribly busy. Last year was like many others. Miss Miyabi and I just had cake. Hmm. Oh, I see. That's a pretty lonely way to spend a birthday. Hmm. All right, then. We'll have to get everybody together and throw a huge party this year. Let's make sure this is a birthday bash you're always going to remember. Kaurusama. But you know, a birthday alone with Aoi-chan doesn't sound like a bad idea. Kaurusama. Huh? Kaurusama, I do love you. Uh, Aoi-chan. I apologize. I must have gotten caught up in the moment. Why don't I go buy us something to drink? Uh, oh. oh, please, accept my apologies. I don't think we can be as open as that. But it'd be nice to be that way in public at least once. I'm sure that Aoi-chan would look good no matter what she wears. Western clothes, huh? Karusama? Is there something wrong? You seem a bit dazed. Huh? N no, I'm fine. My mistake, then. Here you go. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Come to think of it, I did have a lot of expenses this month, didn't I? I still have some time. I'm gonna do it. already prepared, Karusama. Yes, yeah, sorry about this, Aoi-chan, but I've got to get going right away. You do? I have to get to the university to submit a report and do some other stuff, so I'm a little busy. I won't need any breakfast today, okay? Oh, is that the case now? Well, I think I'd better get going. Ray, please be careful on your way.
Karusama is really late. Oh? You're finally back home. <gasps> Welcome back. I'm home, Awe-chan. Is there anything the matter, Karusama? You seem absolutely exhausted. I'm not that tired. I'll bring your dinner to your room if that's all right. That's okay. I'm fine. But... <sighs> I'm so tired. Karusama, breakfast is ready. Karusama? He's busy today, too? Hey there, you're here bright and early, temp guy. You bet. Karusama. Oh, I know. Karusama seemed so exhausted yesterday despite what he said, so the entrees tonight had better be very nutritious. The soy sauce is limited to one per customer. I bought one for you and one for me. I appreciate it. Not a problem. So what's on the menu for tonight? Well, let me think a moment. Meat, potatoes, bro, fish. And does steamed spinach sound like a good side dish for those? Sounds good to me. Oh. They're all Hanabishi Senpai's favorites, so I'm sure you'll be happy. <laughs> yes, uh, I'd imagine so. Switching models is no problem! And your phone number will stay the same! Wow! It's a big old chair! Can I have one? <laughs> I can't keep doing stuff like this. No, quitting isn't an option here. Switching models is no problem! And your phone number will stay the same! It's another late night. He's been busy lately. I wonder if he even returned last night. Uh. Jeez, I overslept. I'm gonna be late for work. Karusama. as though it's been nearly a lifetime since I last spoke to him. Singers? What do you mean by that? Take this! Are you still gonna keep I'm making sorry, cracks? I'm sorry, Pai! Oh, by the way, what'll you be wearing to the party tomorrow? Beats me. What about you? Hey, did you see which way our birthday girl hmm? went? I wonder if I'll even see Karusama on my birthday tomorrow. Oh, there she Miss is! Miss Aoi! Huh? Is something wrong, Miss Landlord? you kind of been down in the dumps lately. What? I don't think that I've been acting any different. 
If you say so. Do you have any idea what you'll be wearing tomorrow, Miss Owie? Maybe an elegant evening gown or something. Evening gown, but I, I'm afraid that I'm not very accustomed to wearing formal Western-style clothing. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, if that's oh. the case, then we'll wear evening gowns oh, to splash okay. things up. Let's do our best. <sighs> It's finally almost the day. I've got to do this. I wonder if he'll be back early tonight. Happy birthday, Miss Allen! Oh. <laughs> I was actually thinking about using these during the party, but Tina Senpai insisted that we had to use them now. Hey, it's no big deal. Don't sweat the small stuff. See? I still have plenty left. <laughs> I managed to earn the amount I was looking for. Oh. Excuse me, where's the outfit that used to be displayed out there? I'm sorry, sir, but we're currently sold out of that particular item. What? No way! You're sold out? Don't you have any in stock somewhere? Actually, that's a very popular item. We've never been able to keep it in stock. If you'd like to special order it, it should arrive in about a month. In a month? It can't be. Please, could you tell me if there's anywhere else I can find that outfit? Karusama. The very first time I saw that outfit, I remember thinking to myself that it would look perfect on Aoi-chan. That's why it can't be any other outfit but that one. To think that he hasn't called us yet. Senpai sure is late. What the heck does he think he's doing? At this rate, all the food's gonna get cold. Lady Aoi, uh, perhaps we should begin without him. We've already waited quite a long time. Uh, Lady Aoi, could we just wait a little bit longer? Just a little longer. Uh, if that's what you wish, Lady Aoi, then we'll wait. We really should. A small party like this one wouldn't be much fun without the whole gang. Guess we'll just have to wait then. Karusama. We'll have to get everybody together and throw a huge party this year. Let's make sure this is a birthday bash you're always gonna remember. Perhaps Karusama truly does dislike me after all. I'm sorry. I wanted to come back sooner, but I got a little sidetracked. It's almost over now, but happy birthday. Kaurusama. Jeez, Kauru, you're really late. Call us next time, will ya? Oh my gosh, you're totally drenched. I I'll get you a towel. Happy birthday, happy day. Happy birthday, happy day. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Lady Lowy. Happy birthday, happy day. Oh, Chan Shu looks pretty today. Happy birthday, happy day. Happy birthday, Lady Lowy. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Cheers!
Good night, you two. Good night, Karusama. I will be waiting in the backyard. Owie. Owie-chan? Is that you, Karusama? Hey, Owie-chan. What's wrong? Um, Karusama, please, I ask that you not laugh at me, if at all possible. Huh? It, sure. Uh. Uh, do you think this dress suits me? Owie John. That outfit. When we were out shopping the other day, I noticed you looking at these clothes. And I thought that you might like seeing me in this. How do I look? Watch your step there. It's dark here. Please don't look down, Karusama. Huh? I forgot to buy the shoes along with the dress. <laughs> That's all right. I know it's a little late, but... You got me a present? <sighs> yeah, open it. What? Karusama, how did you know? Well, Aoi-chan, it's for you with all my heart. <laughs> you look even better than I imagined you would. Could it be that? You look really good in that outfit, Aoi-chan. Thank you for the compliment. Thank goodness. Hmm? Karusama! <laughs> I haven't been able to see much of you lately, so I thought that you no longer liked me. <laughs> I'm sorry if I made you worry. It's all right. Despite what happened, I'm happy that you and I could feel the same way about something. Aoi-chan. It's so beautiful. Looks like Orihime and Hikoboshi were able to see each other. Or something. And because I was born on Tanabata Day, I always felt jealous when it came to Orihime and Hikoboshi. Why is that? It's because they were both still able to see the person that they loved the most, even if it was only once a year. But now, I'll always be together with you, Karusama. That's right. Next year and the year after, and many more after those. I forgot something? <laughs> your bento. Oh, thanks, Aoi-chan. I was about to miss out on one of your great lunches. <laughs> it's fortunate that I realized it. Oh. <laughs> it's sort of like we're a couple of newlyweds, huh? <sighs> I'm happy to hear you say that. After all, Karusama, you and I are. Guess I better get going then. Be careful on your way, Karusama.
goodness, class is over. Why must Japan's educational institutions be such dull places? Honestly, what a chore. Yeah, I was thinking of eating my bento lunch here. Oh, no! You don't have to force yourself to eat that! I can treat you to a lunch made by a top chef at some restaurant. Food tastes a lot better when it's eaten outside with your friends than inside some stuffy old restaurant! Huh. <laughs> well, I guess I'll start eating now. Wow! Today's bento looks as good as it always does. Whenever Miss Owie cooks anything, it's sure to look great and taste delicious. Huh? Impressed, huh? When it comes to cooking and cleaning, nobody's better than our landlord. I bet it tastes better than the expensive stuff you usually eat. Well, I won't be able to compare until I try some of it. <laughs> ah! Get your paws off of my lunch! Just because food looks good doesn't necessarily mean it will taste good. Well? Well, it doesn't seem to be horrible. First you take someone else's food and then you wisecrack about it! Ah! Hey, Tina, this sausage is your homemade, right? You can tell. I tried to make it look like a little sea anemone. It <laughs> kind of does, huh? Oh. Karu over here is the kind of guy who's attracted to us domestic girls who can cook and clean. <laughs> Taiko-chan, did you make this? That's right. It's tempura that I made with chocolate-covered tomatoes. Huh? huh? It's really delicious, you know. Y uh, yeah? Uh, trust me, it's delicious. That. Yeah. Oh, uh, right? Right. Is a bento lunch really that important to him? But if it means that Mayu can spend quality time with Hanabishi sama, then I'll try it. If Hanabishi sama eats Mayu's homemade lunch, then I'm sure. It's delicious! Totally delicious! I want you to make my lunch tomorrow. No, I want you to always make them. I will if it's for you, Hanabishi sama! I love you. I'm never gonna let you go, Mayu! I'm so happy, Hanami Shizama! You could even cook garbage and make it delicious! Oh, you always flatter me so, darling! <gasps> I'm gonna eat you up, just like I did the food! Oh, no! Food's <laughs> 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 delicious and all, but drooling like that's disgusting! You're not getting any more of my lunch! If Mayu made a bento lunch for you tomorrow, would you eat it? What? Yeah, of course I would. You really would eat it? Then Mayu will make a bento for you tomorrow and bring it right here. Then I'll go buy some antacids for you tomorrow and bring them right here. <laughs> and what pray tell is that supposed to mean? Gee, I wonder what could that possibly mean? Well, I should start cooking now. Let's see. First of all... I suppose I'll make some salmon yeah. Pour oil into a heated frying pan. Saute salt for five minutes. <gasps> this will make it much easier. All I have to do is wait for it to finish cooking. Never give up! You can never have a proper lunch without some rice balls. <laughs> They may not look terribly pretty, but they should definitely taste like rice. Ugh. This can't be helped, I guess. Since, after all, I've never had anybody teach me to cook before. Whenever Miss Owie cooks anything, it's sure to look great and taste delicious. When it comes to cooking and cleaning, nobody's better than our landlord. I bet it tastes a lot better than that expensive stuff you usually eat. Uh, why didn't I think of it earlier? There we go. I wonder what kind
kind of dishes I should make tonight. Come to think of it, Karusama mentioned that he felt like eating fish. Huh? Yes, I'll be right there. Who is it? <sighs> I guess Mayo-chan's not coming after all. And after all that mouthing off about making you bento, too, I'm sure things didn't turn out as well as she'd hoped. Cooking really isn't something that you can learn how to do well in only a day or two. It took me ten hard days of thinking to come up with this tempura recipe. Uh, oh, oh, is that, that so? so? <sighs> I wonder if Mayu-chan's all right. I hope she's not hurt or anything. Hi, we're back, Miss Landlord! Welcome home. Huh? Taiko-chan? But aren't you right over here? Yeah. Well, you see, to tell the truth, Karusama. Allow me to welcome you home, Hanabishi Sama. Uh, uh, <sighs> what? Mayu chan! I apologize in advance for troubling you all so. Well, so what the hell's that brat doing here anyway? Mayusama insisted that she wished to learn how to perform everyday household chores. And in order to accomplish that, she requested that Miss Aoi Sakuraba, the landlord of this estate, be her personal instructor. I wanted to learn how to make the bento lunch that Hanabishi-sama liked. I also heard she knew how to do other chores as well. I leave myself in your most capable hands, Miss Aoi. Oh, thank you. Aoi-chan. Because she is one of your acquaintances, Sir Kaoru, we felt obligated to accept her. And apparently you had promised this young lady you would eat her bento as well. Uh, well, th that was only because... That's right! And who better to learn all these domestic chores from than Hanabi Shisama's personal servant? His personal servant? What? That isn't what you are? What I am is... Kaurusama's... No, Lady Aoi. Please show some restraint. I know. Aoi-chan. I'm sorry. I never imagined Mayu-chan would just barge in here. This is not something that should have been left unsaid. And of all things she could have called her, a servant? Do you have any idea just how humiliated Lady Aoi must feel at this very moment? Please wait, Miss Miyabi. Karusama didn't do anything so horrible. But Lady Aoi, even so... Karusama, please do not be so sensitive about hurting my feelings. Why not? I know the circumstances and I'm fine with it. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! The vase! Mayu was only doing her duty as a maid by redecorating a little... It's the vase's fault for being there! Ugh! Why don't you just go home already, you stupid little brat? <laughs> I, I'm perfectly fine with the situation. <laughs> Here. The only laundry that Mayu wants to wash is Hanabi Shisama's laundry. <sighs> I may be a little tired right now, but this is sort of satisfying. All the laundry swaying in the wind. <laughs> I know that feeling well. Every once in a while, seeing this makes me feel very happy. It's things like this that make me feel like I'm really living with Kaurusama. <sighs> Come on, Aoi-chan! It's time to go inside and have some tea! <laughs> Can you believe that I help put up all this laundry? Isn't it wonderful? Mayu will make a very good wife. A, a very good wife? Now just hold on a minute there, Mayu-chan. And when Mayu finally becomes your wife one day, you'll always be there for me and only for me. I wonder 
if I can imagine how our lives will be. Oh, that's right. I believe you wanted some tea right now, and as a maid, Mayu should serve it to you. Uh, well... <sighs> Come on, hurry up, Hanabi Shisama! Huh? Where's Miss Mayu? Oh, she went inside for tea with Karusama. Even now, Miss Mayu is as aggressive as she always is. That kiss the other day, and now this. <sighs> the kiss? Tea, Hanabi Shisama. Oh, thanks a lot, Mayu-chan. I forgot to mention to you that I was curious and took a little peek at the room earlier. Your room, I mean. <gasps> you took a look at my room, Mayu-chan? It was so inspiring, Hanabi Shisama! Huh? Living in a mere commoner's room in order to understand the lives of ordinary men. How utterly magnanimous and noble of you. Mayu was so humbled by it all. And just for you, Hanabi Shisama, Mayu will learn the household chores of the ordinary commoner. Oh, hey. oh, oh. What the heck do you think you're doing, wasting your time just sitting there? You ought to be doing your chores! And what do you think you're doing, incessantly interrupting the two of us? Mayu is acting as a maid here. It's only natural for me to be serving the master of the house. Even now, Miss Mayu is as aggressive as she always is. That kiss the other day. <gasps> and when Mayu finally becomes your wife one day, you'll always be there for me and only for me. His wife. <gasps> Lady Aoi. Uh, yes? It is nearly dinner time. We should begin preparing it. Miss Taiko and Miss Mayu are waiting for you. Oh, I didn't realize. I will be right there once I take care of this. Finally! I was getting impatient! So, what kind of food does everyone normally eat around here? Well, for today, we were planning to have meat with potatoes and some grilled fish. <gasps> Why do you feed Hanabi She's some other food of commoners? Huh? For a man of his upbringing and pedigree, a more palatable and elegant menu is required. For instance, as an example... <laughs> you don't understand. Senpai actually likes Japanese food like that. Mm. Food. Well, I guess it Lady Aoi, maintain your composure. Sort of it's important to monitor the temperature as you let the flavors melt together. It doesn't appear to be salty enough. Wow! You certainly are well-versed in your work as a servant, Miss Owie. <laughs> I guess my hand slipped a little. But you know, when I finally marry Hanabi Shisama, Mayu will be making Japanese dishes for him like this every single day. I wonder Sorry. how I should address him when we're married. In any case, Maybe when a dish is too salty, <laughs> if I remember, the remedy is to My balance the flavor honey. with sugar. And when and that's chili sauce that you're that's putting in there, Miss Owie. Oh, 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 I apologize for that. Oh, decisions, decisions. I wonder what we should name our children. Oh my gosh, it's on fire! Lady Abby, the rice is burning! I apologize! What the heck is this? Did Tara make dinner tonight by herself or something? No, actually, it was mostly Miss Owie who did the cooking today. Huh? I apologize. Owie-chan? Lady Owie. Mayu didn't come to this place to learn how to cook food in the worst possible manner. Just a moment, Miss Mayu. Mayu-chan, uh -huh. try not to be so hard on Aoi-chan, okay? She may not have done all that well today, but this isn't what it's normally like. Her cooking is usually totally delicious. Uh -huh. But now that I've had a taste of this, it's actually pretty good in its own way. Hanabi some. Yeah, it really isn't all that bad. At least it's a lot better than what Tai usually cooks. Oh, is that really so? Well, my next recipe is chocolate-covered potatoes, and I'll make sure to adjust it to your liking. I hope you bear with me while I experiment. 
Uh, anything but that. Hey, Karu, you want to get in on the action? What? Why do I have to suffer? Hey, how can both of you be so cruel to a friend? <laughs> Karu-sama, everyone. Um, Miss Aoi, I know that I went a little too far earlier. I apologize, Miss Mayu. And I apologize for not teaching you better. Well then. We'd better be taking our leave now. Thank you very much for everything today. I hope you're willing to teach me to cook another time, Miss Aoi. I am. Please come whenever you would like. <laughs> Have a good night, Hanabishi-sama. <laughs> How long are you trying to keep on hanging on him like that? I'll be so lonely without you, Hanabishi-sama. Oh, oh, come in. Oh. What in the world are you doing here? And at this hour, if Miss Miyabi finds you... What's that? Wait a sec. Miss Miyabi just told me you wanted to talk to me. <laughs> I really am sorry about today. It must have been hard on you. No, it was because I couldn't deal with things that I troubled you and everyone else. I was not even able to teach Miss Mayu properly. But I will do my very best the next time. And I will try harder to put feelings like that aside. If I do not... If I do not, then I cannot be your... Aoi-chan. It sure would be nice if we could say it soon, huh? That you're my fiancé and everything, I mean? Uh... <laughs> Karusama! Karusama! <laughs> I'm sorry. I just couldn't help myself. It's all right. I'm fine. <sighs> I'll try harder to become a fiancé you won't be ashamed of. I'll do everything I possibly can. You're a person that I can be proud to call my fiancé even now, Aoi-chan. Karsama. Being here at this moment and hearing you say those words brings more joy to my heart than I could have ever thought possible. I can't help but wonder right now what kind of a wife you'll be in the future. Have you ever thought about that? I have. Quite often, in fact. We wouldn't live in a large house like this one. And we would have three children. Oh, I'll have to ask Miss Miyabi to teach me how to discipline them. Yeah. Every spring, the entire family would go out to see the cherry blossoms. Go on. Also, let me think. Oh, I haven't thought of any names for our children. you ask that? Well, to tell the truth, you're looking happier than usual. You really think so? Huh? Go shopping together with you? Yeah. If tomorrow's okay with you, I was thinking that we could go out together. Oh, but if you have errands to run, I can go by myself. I will go. Please allow me to accompany you tomorrow, Karusama. No matter what the day may bring, I wish to go with you. Uh, sure. <laughs> I wonder what I should wear tomorrow. Oh. This is... Oh. 
Let's see. Miss Miyabi wants ferret food for Uzume. Taiko-chan wants the newest occult novel, and Tina wants... I want the video game Fighting Son of Mars 3! What kind of a game is that? Maybe a fighting game? Aoi-chan! Sorry for making you wait, Karu-sama. Meow! <laughs> Meow! <sighs> wow. That's a pretty kimono you're wearing there. So then you approve of what I'm wearing? Yeah, it looks really nice on you. It suits you, too. Thank goodness. Uh, Thank you very much for saying so, Karusama. Oh, uh, hey, you don't have to bow. Come on. Actually, this kimono was given to me by my grandmother. Oh, is that true? Were you close to your grandmother, Aoi-chan? Yes. Both my father and mother were always busy with work while I was growing up, so she took care of me often. She was such a kind person. I loved her very much. She passed away five years ago, unfortunately. I'm sorry to hear that. Huh? Why did you stop walking, Aoi-chan? Cherry blossoms. Awicha? Uh, oh. When I was young, my grandmother would take me to see the cherry blossoms each and every year. And when she did, grandmother would always be wearing this kimono. I loved this kimono, and I often fussed over it, saying that I wanted one just like it. Grandma only wants a kimono just like yours. I want one. I want one. Goodness gracious. You want a kimono over western-style clothes? You're a kimono merchant already. Yeah! Don't you know, Grandma, I love kimonos! Is that so? Then please, Aoi, never forget this one thing. All kimonos are very special because they are overflowing with the feelings and emotions of those who wear them. So when you wear a kimono that originally belonged to another, you are also wearing the feelings of that person that the kimono has felt. What the kimono has felt? You're still young, so this may be a little hard to understand. Aoi, when you become older, this kimono is yours. Really, Grandma? So please, wear it when you have a leisurely stroll. Like this, walking together with the person you'll marry. Oh, I already know who that person will be. Oh? Aoi will be together with Karu-sama of the Hanabishis. I see, one of the Hanabishis. That makes perfect sense. In my younger days, I took many a walk with your grandfather wearing this kimono. You know, Aoi, your grandfather loved this kimono more than any other. If the feelings held in this kimono are one day passed down unto you, then that boy of the Hanabishis will surely... He will surely like this kimono as well. When I was younger, I didn't really understand what my grandmother was talking about. But I understand it quite well now. This kimono overflows with the love you feel for the person who's dearest to you. Wow. That's an incredible story. Karusama, huh? standing here with you wearing this kimono makes me feel like I'm falling more and more in love with you every moment. So that's why I've always wanted to wear this kimono and step outside for a stroll with you. Thank you. Oh, so that's what it was, huh? I'm kind of embarrassed by it all. <laughs> Let's see. This looks like everything we had to buy, I think. Uh, 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 Aoi-chan? <laughs> Look at this, Kaurusama. Do you remember what happened over here? This place is... Uh, oh, yeah. This is where you and I met again after all those years. That's right. It was quite a coincidence that you happened to pass by that day to fix the strap on my sandal. I really appreciated it. I'm usually not that nice to other people, but for some reason that day, I was really worried about you, Aoi-chan. Hmm? What? Hey, why won't this gate let me pass? That's strange. Mm -hmm. What should I do? Excuse me. What seems to be the matter? Oh, well... Thank 
you for the help you've given me. See you! <laughs> I almost feel as if my past self is reflected in the present. That reminds me. You remember how you and I took the train together to Izumi Gaoka? I do. But now that I think about it, it seems that we arrived there only a few moments after we boarded. <laughs> Actually, what happened back then was that you fell asleep and we ended up going all the way around before getting off at the station. What? Is that really true? I'm really sorry about that. I was worn out after all the excitement. Oh, was that all I did, Karusama? Or was there some other way that I troubled you? I'm not sure what you mean. Well, for instance, sleepwalking. Nothing like that went on. You slept soundly. Oh, but I guess there was a little drooling going on. <laughs> not really. I'm only kidding. remember when I first came to Tokyo. Karusama? Karusama? Huh? Is anything the matter, Karusama? Say, Aoi-chan, want to tag along? Tag along? Where will we be going? The apartment. The apartment where I used to live. Karusama? This place hasn't even changed a bit. So, do you want to go up to the room? Sure. I guess they haven't found a renter for this place. <laughs> Looks like it's open. Sure brings back memories. This place holds some memories for me as well. There were so many unforgettable moments in this one small room after all. There sure were. Occasionally, I have this recurring dream. Recurring? Yes. It's a dream about being with you in this room we're standing in. But the Karusama that I always see in this recurring dream never says anything. Not a single word, no matter what topic I bring up. I prepared many meals for that silent Karusama. Please, go ahead and start eating, Karusama. However... No matter what I did, whether it was watching television with that Karusama, reading books with him, engaging in lively conversation, he wouldn't do anything. Despite everything, he would just remain silent. I had no idea what to do. When I thought of the possibility that he might no longer like me, it felt so painful. One tear would fall after another. That is the moment I always wake up. And the moment that I always realize that what had really occurred was that I had fallen asleep crying. It's just a dream. Only a dream and nothing more. But uncertainties always fill my mind regardless. I wonder why that is. Aoi-chan. Karusama. I know it sounds strange. Perhaps the reason I have this dream every so often is because I worry too much. <gasps> that just isn't true at all. It isn't true, believe me. Uh, Karusama? Karusama? After I was forcefully separated from my mother, the days back in Hanabishi were hard. I was never allowed to do anything fun. I hated the Hanabishi family. After my mother passed away, the very thought that the blood of the Hanabishis was running inside of me was enough to drive me crazy. 
so I saved as much money as I could and used it to leave Hanabishi. That's when I moved into Tokyo and started a new life all by myself in this apartment. After that, I worked every day. I couldn't rely on anyone but myself to survive because I just couldn't rely on anyone. I was all alone in the world, and that's when I realized something for the first time, that I no longer had anyone in this world that I could call my family. And every day until recently, I kept cursing the world that I was born into. Karasuma. But now I have a reason to stop doing that, because there's finally something in my life that makes me happy that I was born into the Hanabishi clan. And that reason, Aoi-chan, is because I met you. The fact that you're here and that you're my fiancé is the only saving grace of my birth and my existence. Aoi-chan, I'm really glad that you're here as my fiancé. I love you, Aoi-chan. But Grandma, but Grandma, even if Karu-sama likes the kimono, that doesn't mean he'll like me, so what do I do then? Everything will be alright, you needn't worry, Aoi. If the feelings held within this kimono have passed on to you, then your feelings will be passed on to that boy of the Hanabishis. And I am certain that the Hanabishi boy will respond to those feelings. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Karasama, this is the very first time that you said that you've loved me. This is the very first time that I've heard you say those words. My feelings really did get passed down onto you. Aoi-chan. Please forgive me. I kept worrying about this for so very long. Whether or not I would be able to stay at your side, Karusama, as your fiancé. But I did not truly know how you felt about me all this time. I had constantly wondered whether you actually acknowledged my feelings for you. I felt like asking you many times in the past, but I was afraid of what the answer might be. So that was it. I'm sorry, Aoi-chan. To tell the truth, I was a little uncomfortable putting it into words, if you know what I mean. Please don't apologize. You haven't done anything wrong in the very least, Karusama. I really am hopeless when you agree. I always worry myself to death. Ever since I first met you when we were children, I've always thought about you. And I started to worry about such things even when I was still a child. I wonder what Karusama is doing right now. What kind of a life is he leading? What kind of a man has he grown into? I had spent my entire childhood thinking about you. However, one day I was told something very suddenly. Impossible! Why is it going to be cancelled? I have not heard any reason given yet. The Hanabishi clan simply told us to forget that the engagement ever occurred. It was the Hanabishi clan? Karusama was not the one who said it? I have only heard from the Hanabishi clan. Then what about Kaurusama? This may not be his desire at all. Lady Aoi! I'm telling you this engagement is officially over. I understand how you feel, but our relationship with the Hanabishis has never been strong. It's not over. Lady Aoi! It's not over! It's not over! I was able to do my best up until this moment because of Kaurusama. Everything I did was for the single purpose of being his wife one day. I cannot imagine being with any other person than Kaurusama. <laughs> oh, Lady Aoi. From the very moment that I heard that announcement, I cried. I cried until my tears ran dry. And that was when I decided that I would go wherever you were, Karusama. But I had absolutely no idea what kind of person you had become. Truthfully, I was very worried. But when I discovered in this very room that the person who had helped me was indeed Karusama, I was truly happy. And you were just as I had imagined you would be. No, you were more wonderful than I had ever imagined. I am also happy beyond words that you are here as my fiancé, Karusama. Thanks for saying so, Aoi-chan. I really love you. I really do love you, Karusama. 
Aoi-chan. Here's the place. This apartment gets plenty of sunshine, and because it's in the corner of the building, it tends to be very quiet here. You really can't ask for more than that. How do you like it so far? Wow, it's cleaner than I thought it'd be. But I think this place could use a loft or something. <laughs> it's reasonable for the price range, isn't it? Yeah, but you know that I prefer wood floors. Uh, I like the Japanese-style room. Uh, well, as long as you like it, Yumi, I'm okay with it. Really? Uh, that was really close. But isn't this a bit small for two people to live in? I don't really mind if it's a smaller place. All it means is that I can always be by your side, Takashi. Yeah? You really mean that? Yes, I'm happy with any place as long as I'm with you. I know that nobody would ever describe this place as big, but it has plenty of storage space. <laughs> storage space? Just take a look in here. You don't see many places with this. <laughs> Come on out, Mr. Realtor. We've seen enough of this place, so let's move on, okay? Oh, uh, whatever you say. <laughs> <laughs> What was this doing in here? <laughs> <sighs> We're in the clear at last. I think we better get out of here while we can. Yes. Do you think that couple from earlier will be moving into that room? Yeah, maybe. Somehow, I envy them a little. Huh? Miss Miyabi, Miss Tina, and Miss Tayeko. It really is fun to be together with everyone like that. However, I wish that we could have spent more time living in that room by ourselves, because then I would have been closer to you. That's true. But don't forget that we're still living close to each other, Aoi-chan. There isn't anything to worry about anymore. Karusama. No, I believe that I will still worry. It's in my very nature to worry. I'll never stop my worrying, even now. What? After all... When I'm thinking of someone very dear to me, how could I ever just stop? Howie chan So I hope you don't mind that. I'm going to worry more and more about you, and it's only going to get worse, okay? Do you dislike me for being like that? <laughs> no, I love you, Howie chan Karusama. We'd better get home, Howie-chan. Right. Karusama, I really love you! The season is summer! Summer means beaches! Beaches means swimsuits! Stay with me now! Following that train of thought, it only makes sense for us gals to have that one special swimsuit just in case we go to the beach! Is that really so? It's best not to take her seriously, Lady Owie. Come on, girls! Let's go! I hope they have a lot of cute swimsuits at the store. Isn't this exciting, Miss Miyabi? If I were buying a swimsuit, perhaps. What? You mean you won't be buying one? What the heck were you doing, Miss Landlord? <sighs> I wonder which one of these swimsuits Hanabi Shisama will like best. I think this one looks nice, but I'm somewhat partial to this one, too. Oh. Pardon me, ma'am. Huh? A beautiful young girl such as yourself would look much better in a swimsuit like this one. <sighs> Why, thank you. Hanabi Shisama's heart will be mine without a doubt once he sees me in this swimsuit. My, what a wonderful design. Its simplicity seems to bring out my own natural beauty in some way. Wait, why am I wearing a school swimsuit? Good afternoon, Miss Mayu. Did you come here to buy a swimsuit today, too? Hey, you look great in that. Just like I thought you would. That ought to be good enough for a brat like you. That's enough. Sorry, but...
but I think you're disturbing our other customers. So why don't you all go to the changing rooms and try on some swimwear? Yeah, that's why we're here. No, thank you. I won't be. I'll take a look at what you have. Well, how's this for a mature look? I'll be the heroine of the beach in this. How utterly gauche. This one is much more elegant in comparison. Every eye on the beach will be on me. <laughs> this one's white. Way to go. But this swimsuit is obviously the best of all. Not too shabby, kid. My thoughts exactly. What? Mm -hmm. This is the only uh -huh. one? Yes, I'll have to apologize. But please understand, considering your size. <laughs> I guess so. But it does look really good on you. I envy the lucky man who'll be going to the beach with you. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Why'd I think of you? Karusama and I could enjoy some time alone at one. Oh my. Huh? Summer isn't summer without breaking open a watermelon. I look way better than that, Brad, huh? Mayu is unmistakably the one who looks the best here, isn't that right, hanabishi sama Excuse me, why am I a part of this? Well, uh, I think all three of you look great, to tell you the truth. Oh, Kaoru! hanabishi sama Oh, I forgot to mention this, Miss Minasuki, but your grandmother sent you a postcard. A postcard from Grandma? I actually bought it. I wonder if it'll look good on me. so excited about oh well actually are we Ta's grandma sent her a postcard that's got some great news have a look my what a beautiful place this picture must have been taken somewhere near the beach house that my grandmother runs oh a beach house take a look at what my grandma wrote excited about this than I am. Jeez. Right, Miss Manager? Miss Manager? Huh? Oh, yes. That's true, Miss Tina. <laughs> Aren't you glad we came, Awi-chan? I am. It's nice here. Oh. <laughs> huh? Away so long that you're starting to look like a foreigner. I guess it's true what they say about girls changing a lot when you don't see them. Grandma, I'm over here. I'm just kidding. Things will be lively this year with all these friends here.
And what's this? You have your husband with you. Oh, I can't take this anymore. Now, Let's go take a dip. Hold on. Wishy Sama will be enjoying the water with me first. Here. Thank you very much for the drinks. It's Hiya Chan. Uh -huh. You don't have to help me out here. Go and have fun with your friends. Oh, but... You're all here to enjoy yourselves, so that's what you should do. Yeah, Grandma's right, so why don't we go out onto the beach and play? Oh, well... All right, let's go. Yippee! Come on, hurry up and get changed! Okay, okay, don't tug on my arm so hard. Legs around me. Don't think I don't see what you're trying to pull here. And what if you try to interfere with my use of the love story? Love story looks more like a now bad now. romance novel to me. You now see now. it is summer calls for now a more aggressive now. approach. They sure are fighting like cats and dogs over your guy. Shouldn't you be in there fighting for him, Taiko? I, I'm not involved in. So this. you're just gonna let them steal your boyfriend? I told you it's not like that. Yeah, yeah, just get at it. Hey there, cutie. Are you here all by yourself? Feel like having a little fun with us? Oh, uh, actually, I'm here. Uh... Ooh, come on, baby. Let's do something together. Oh, uh, I'm not really interested. Looks like she's got more guys hanging off her again. She should just learn to tell them off. I guess I have no choice. Huh? Taiko-chan! Uh -oh. Hey, Taiko-chan! Senpai! I brought a frisbee along with me, Taiko-chan. Why don't we toss it around? Damn, she's here with a guy. We'll just have to find another one. Come on, let's go play with the others. Senpai. <laughs> Chika-chan! You want to toss around the old frisbee with us? Sure! <laughs> Lady Aoi? Are you really satisfied with just sitting here? You've come to the beach with Sir Kaoru, after all. Uh, oh, I'm all right, really. I didn't even bring a swimsuit. Oh, is that so? I lied to Miss Miyabi. But it's just that I'm embarrassed about wearing a bathing suit in front of others. Please be patient, Lady Owie. We'll be able to enjoy summer together soon. My summer! Wait for me! I wish I could play like that without worrying so much. Right, Uzume? Oh, you fell asleep. Oh. Chika-chan! I surprised you, huh? That's what you get for spacing out like that. Here you go. Oh, thank you. You know, it really is sorry. Huh? Being so shy like that and not being able to show true feelings well. Just seeing that makes me totally crazy. Really? Yeah, she hasn't changed one bit at all. Tayako. Oh, Miss Tayako. She's got to be more aggressive. If she isn't, she can't catch the heart of the person she really likes. That's what I read in the magazine. In any case, the points should keep pushing forward in romance. That's true. Oh, yeah! <laughs> the person you like. Hit you, Aoi-chan? Here, Karusama. 
Thanks a lot. Sorry about that, but Tina really put all of her strength into that last throw. Hey, aren't you going to swim, Aoi chan? Uh, well, I'm embarrassed about being so bare in front of others. I see. Well, that's a little disappointing. I was kind of looking forward to seeing you wear a bathing suit. Are you really satisfied? Keep pushing forward in romance! Uh, Karu-sama? Oh, yeah. Shut up, Karu! Oh, 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 the love story is only just beginning at the Karu-sama! Hey, would you let me go already? <clears throat> I'm not letting my summer slip away that easily. Huh? Huh? Here, Hanabishi Sama. Say ah. It, it's all right. I can eat by myself. Come on, Kaoru! Forget about eating! Why don't we drink some more? The sake they make around here is pretty good! More, please! What? But that's your fourth bowl! <laughs> Food just tastes better when there's lots of people around! Taiko-chan, huh? I could use a little bit more rice, too. Oh, sure! Hanabishi <laughs> some more, Karu! Okay, okay! Here's some pie! Thanks, Taiko-chan! I hope it's enough! If he ate that much rice, Ty. I'm sorry. It's okay, Taiko chan. I was hungry anyway. You're such a nice guy, Karu. Hey, Taiko, you're blushing. Thank you very what much you for the dinner. Karu, could you get more sake? Oh, I'm sorry, sake. I will go take a bath. Ready for me too, Hanabishi sama. I was kind of looking forward to seeing you wear a bathing suit. Why is it that I cannot gather enough courage to wear a simple bathing suit? <laughs> Miss Miyabi. Are you satisfied with the way things are? Uh, it's just... It's just that I... Oh, by the way... I've heard some talk regarding a wonderful section of the beach that only the locals know about. It's apparently very romantic during the night time. Oh well, in any case, I suppose that's neither here nor there. <sighs> Miss Miyabi. <clears throat> but please, be absolutely sure not to return too late. Right. Jeez, she really has to learn to stop partying until she drops. <laughs> Karusama? Aoi-chan? Is something wrong, Aoi-chan? Well, actually... Yeah? What is it? Well... The beach. The beach? Could we go to the beach now? Hmm. Oh. oh! Oh, that hurt! You have to give it your all, Taiko. Huh? Push forward when you're in love. Jeez, uh. what kind of dream is she having? Huh? <laughs> This senpai sweatshirt. What is this? This strange feeling. Could you stay still for just a short moment? I wonder if I could have gotten the two of us lost. Wow. 
It's really beautiful here. It is. Say, Karusama? Yeah? I would like you to look at something. Just for a little while, if you don't mind. What? Uh, Aoi-chan? Uh, wait. What are you doing? Karusama? Well, how do you think I look? Excuse me. Karusama? Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. Guess I couldn't take my eyes off you, since I... That is, since you look even better in a swimsuit than I thought possible. Sorry, my heart's racing. I can't put it into words well. I'm so happy to hear you like how I look in this, Karusama. This afternoon, when I was watching you all enjoying yourselves, I have to admit that I felt a little jealous. But I didn't have the courage to join you. Please forgive me, Karusama. Shall we swim? Uh. Come on over, Aoi-chan. Uh, but Karusama, you don't have your swimsuit. I'm fine in this. But still... It's okay. Come on. Sure. Aoi-chan! <gasps> <laughs> I guess I won't be needing this t-shirt anymore. Uh, but, um, Karusama... It's all right. <laughs> as long as you're the only one here who can see it, I'll be all right. Me too. It's all right as long as you're the only one who sees me like this, Karusama. Aoi-chan. Hanabishi Senpai is kind and easy to talk to, and he's always helping me out, too. I never thought about it before, but he is important to me. Maybe these feelings that I have for him really are.
one, that's good stuff! You can really put it away, huh? You're a young lady of many talents, aren't you? You're not so bad yourself, mister! Thanks. One more round, then! You got it! Two medium bottles, Karu! Kimochi and Edamame, too! Tina, didn't you say you were going to help out with the restaurant? <laughs> I'm eating and drinking, aren't I? And that helps out the business round here! Ain't that right, mister? Sure is! <laughs> Figures, I guess. Oh! <laughs> Are you all right there? I'm sorry about that. It's okay. I tripped over this thing earlier, too. You should watch your step around here. Uh, I will. Hurry up with the drinks, Karu. All right, all right. <laughs> Taiko. All right, then. This looks like a job for Chica. Yes. And please forward that order to the maintenance department. Thank you. I can't even move an inch anymore. I can't drink another drop. <laughs> Big brother! Hmm? Chika-chan. <laughs> I think you've done enough work for today. for someone so young. Thank you, ma'am. I've always loved cooking, to tell you the truth. Any man would be lucky to have you as his wife. Oh, oh my. I'm so embarrassed to hear you say that. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Taeko. Why don't you go take a bath? I can take over from here. Oh, it's okay. I'll take a bath later. Oh, no. You go ahead, Miss Taeko. We're practically done here anyway. But still. Do you really think Big Brother likes sweaty girls? Huh? Like somebody's in here already. Maybe it's Tina Simpai. <laughs> Go for it, Taeko. Just one look and his heart will be yours forever. Tina Simpai, would it be okay if I take a shower too? Hi. Simpai? Chan here. Wait, my back. Ah! It sounds like Operation Cupid of Love was a complete success. Time to take a bath. Oh, my, you will be proud. Ah! <laughs> Yahoo! Oh no! What do I do now? <sighs> this is paradise. I guess someone else must have come in here before us. Is that you, Miss Manager? Or Miss Landlord? <laughs> it's Tina. What should I do? If they find Hanabi Senpai here, I have to think of something quick or else. Hey, come out, come out, wherever you are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry about that, Tina Senpai. Huh? Is that you, Ty? You surprised me. So was that you all along? Yeah. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. But don't you think that water's a little too hot? No, not at all. I'm perfectly fine. Oh, okay. I guess you like it pretty hot. I'll be in the bath if you need me for anything. All right. Looks like you fooled her for now. Yeah, for now. <laughs> Yeah? I'll distract Tina Senpai and whoever else is there. So when I do... Uh, okay. I got gotcha. you. The thunder claps! The demon roars! Now is the time for us to defend That's the most her evil evil song and I've ever heard. Tina-senpai, Miss Mayu. Hmm? Huh? 
What are you so nervous about, Tayeko? To tell you the truth, you see... to them. Hey, chica -chan. Thanks a lot for what you did earlier. Wow, this dishwashing liquid does a great job of cutting through the grease. It's totally amazing! I think I'll be able to handle the rest, so why don't you and Miss Aoi take a bath, Miss Miyabi? Thank you. However... It's fine. The two of them will be all right in a little bit. They just got overcooked in the hot spring, so let them cool down. <sighs> so hot. Then we'll be going now. Enjoy your bath. Is there anything else I should take to the kitchen? No, I'll handle the rest myself. Why don't you go rest? Oh, almost forgot. Huh? Actually, I do have a little errand I'd like you to do with Taiko later on tonight. Sure. So your family also has a booth? Yes. We only have it open on the weekends, but it's a fried noodle stand. And Chica-chan's the one who cooks? She sure does. It's really good, too. I really envy you. I wish I had a family out in the countryside like this. to tell you that I'm sorry about what happened earlier. Huh? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm sorry too. We'd better get going. Yeah. Thank you. Hmm? What is it? 
That's really amazing. Huh? What's amazing? You carrying that gas tank. When it was Chica-chan and me, it took two of us to carry it, and we still wobbled back and forth. I see. I guess this could be a little bit too heavy for a girl. And that's the reason I said you were amazing, senpai. Well, I am a guy after all. Pretty good at this, Chica Chan. Aren't I, though? Here you go. Give it a taste. Are you sure? Wow, delicious. It is, isn't it? Come on, try some of it, Taiko. But Just I'm try it. Free. Here. Well, the stand's all ready, and we still have some time left, so. You two ought to go look around a bit. Oh, but... It's all right. Go on. Go on. What should I do? This feels... kind of like a date. Taiko-chan. <laughs> Want to play a game? Uh, oh. Shoot! Almost had it. Just a little higher would have done it. Okay, it's your turn, Taiko-chan. Uh, all right. I can't do this. I feel way too nervous to. My hands won't listen to what I say. I'll just mess up. Oh, I have to act natural. Fine. Why? Why am I like this? The more I try to act natural, the more my body refuses to cooperate. Just thinking that I'm alone here with them. Oh, I'm the worst! It's all over. He must really hate me now. Taiko-chan. Uh, mm, senpai? You know, spending time with you is a lot of things, but it sure isn't boring, at least. <gasps> you, you mean, you're not mad at me at all? Huh? Why would I be? Because... My clumsiness must have really been a nuisance for you. Hey, that isn't true at all. I had a lot of fun today. What? Besides, no matter what trouble comes your way, you always try your best to have a positive outlook. You know, it's that Taiko-chan that I like the best. <gasps> Senpai. <sighs> Senpai! Senpai, I, uh, there's something, there's something that I have to tell you. Taiko-chan. Yeah, yes, yeah, Senpai. Beautiful. <gasps> Come on, didn't you see them? Those were beautiful fireworks. Uh, he, he didn't hear a single word I said. All right, one more time. Senpai, I... Oh, sorry. All right. What were we talking about again? Uh, nothing. Never mind. Are you sure? <laughs> I'm sure Chikachan must be tired of waiting for us. We'd better hurry back. Hey, slow down there. <laughs> Come on, hurry up, Senpai. Thank, Thank you.
Thank you for taking such good care of us. But you came here to enjoy yourselves, and I made you work. Sorry about that. Please, ma'am. We enjoyed ourselves. We'll come visit you real soon. Okay, Grandma? Oh, I'll be waiting for you all. Don't cry, Grandma. I'm not crying. You're so mean. <laughs> <laughs> so how did it go, Taiko? You and Big Brother seem to be getting along really well. So did you ask him out? Oh, but I guess that's probably asking too much of you, huh? <laughs> Hey, why'd you laugh? Did something happen? It's a uh, secret. Hey, no fair! I just gotta know! Don't you know that I'm the Cupid of love? Mm. Well, you see, after being with him today, I've discovered something. I found out that I'd only trouble him if I stayed the same way I am now. I have to try harder, much, much harder so that I can do anything, like Miss Aoi. So I can be strong-willed, like Miss Miyabi. So I can be bright, like Tina Senpai. And so I can be as honest with myself as Miss Mayu. I have to become a wonderful woman so that I am worthy of him. And I'll have to try even harder than I am now. <laughs> You've sure changed a lot, Taeko. Really? You used to be so afraid of spending time around guys. But when you're with Big Brother, you're very natural. That's why I thought he was your boyfriend when I first saw him. I see. Yeah. But you know... <laughs> Big Brother! Uh, hey, listen! Hmm? Ah! <gasps> ah! Yeah! But you know, if you take too long to become a wonderful woman, Taigo, I just might grow up in time to steal him away from you. Chica chunk. Let's play again soon, Big Brother. What do you think you're doing kissing Kaoru like that? That's right. The only one here who's ever allowed to kiss Hanabishi sama is me. What? You have a problem. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah, I'll do my best. Just like that? I was wondering why you call this meeting during summer break. So that's what it was, huh? Let's make this trip mandatory. Motion, Motion denied. denied! All right, it's decided. We'll meet at 10 a.m. at the Gambu Animal Park. You better be there! What just put it going on? What? You can't come with us? I apologize. I just have so much to do. Not only the laundry, but a lot of other little errands, too. Oh, the manager had some work to do. Ty had to supervise the roof repairs. Who cares about that stupid old roof anyway? You're the one who complained it was leaking in the first place. They didn't have to fix it today. Actually, it was important that the repairman fix it today. There's supposedly a good chance it'll rain after all. But it's our fault, I guess, giving you such short notice. Please, don't worry about it. Today is the last day that you'll be able to see the golden monkeys, right? When you come back... Please, tell me how they were. Oh, sure. This landlord and Ty don't get how important this is. Why don't you quit grumbling and try to cheer up, okay? You know, Suzuki and Sato sure are light today. Hmm? Hey, I've got mail. I guess the mail's from those two, huh? Suzuki's going to a train festival! And Sato's going to a cosplay fashion show! Those damn deserters! I'll get those bastards for this! They found a way out, huh? Ah, I was so excited about this that I couldn't even sleep last night! Hey, don't be so upset. You've still got me, and I'm happy to hang out. Come on, I thought you wanted to see the golden monkeys. Do <laughs> da.
It was touch and go for a while there, but I'm glad her mood's improved. Oh, Makoto! A penguin family! Oh, <laughs> cute babies. You really like animals a whole lot, don't you, Tina? Yep. <laughs> is something the matter? Why is it that you're so sad today? Oh, Ozume, it's just that nobody understands how I feel. I did want to go out to see the monkeys, but spending time with everyone, that's what I felt was important today. There's no reason to be so sad. You know what they say, if at first you don't succeed, do, do again. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Oh, sort of Amazing, you sure know a lot. You humans really laugh and cry over the silliest things. They sure do, but who cares as long as their food's delicious? Hey, by the way, who are you? It'd be so much fun if I really could talk to the animals. That's just like you, Tina. <laughs> the real thing's even cuter than it was on TV. I'm glad you got to see them. Yeah. Hey, do me a favor. Take a picture of me with the monkeys. Okay. I'm taking it. Already. Oh, would you like me to take it? Huh? Yeah, we'd appreciate it. Could you two stand a little closer? Uh, yeah, sure. Saikaru, <laughs> <laughs> hmm? do you think that lady who took our picture thought we were going out or something? Going out? Uh, what makes you think that? Oh, you're starting to blush there. <laughs> what the heck? Huh? What is it? Over there. Look at that. What? Oh, looks like some kind of attraction. Wanna go? <laughs> Welcome to Animal Fantasy's Adventure Palace of Love. From this point on, you will split into two groups and proceed through this dangerous mystical jungle. Your goal is to find your way out. The treasure of your dreams awaits you beyond the jungle. The jungle? ever gonna see this though maybe somewhere deep inside I wish that he could what would I do if Kaoru actually came in here <laughs> that never happened though it is me after all I don't think he'd choose this room and me we're all done <sighs> Happen. There's no way Kamu would ever choose the white door. But if he did, I'd be so, so. Oh, Kamu. There's just one answer! What I want to know is when you started thinking of me in that way! I was so worried 
That was close. I'm glad I managed to get away from that terror of an ostrich. Huh, an ostrich? Yeah, it was this huge one. I got into this room just in the nick of time. You were chased? You mean to say that you didn't choose one of the three doors? Yeah, was there really more than one door out there? I was in such a hurry I didn't notice. You know, I've had a horrible time ever since we split up. I don't see how anybody could ever find this place fun. Uh... Tina, you know? <laughs> it appears to have started raining, Lady Owie. What? Oh no, we'd better bring the laundry inside the house. Let's hurry, Miss Tayako. Right. Oh, I'll help you out as well. Thank you. A lost, lost child, child has been found. found. Will the father of Akiko Nakazawa? Will the father of Akiko Nakazawa please report to the management office? Your daddy will be here real soon. It's really starting to come down. Tina, I think we should start heading back soon. Yeah, I guess so. <sighs> Don't you worry. Your new big sister will stay right here with you until your daddy gets here. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? Excuse me. <laughs> Papa! Because it's a stationary front, the entire Kanto region will experience heavy rainfall tonight. There will be scattered thunderstorms, and the rain will likely become heavier during the night. <laughs> it's quite a summer storm, isn't it? You don't see that happen every day, the poor penguin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See you later, big sister. See ya. Bye-bye. Thanks again for all your help. <laughs> I think we better hurry back home now, Tina. Yeah, sure. What? what? There was a mudslide that occurred up ahead, so the trains are stopped for now. When will they be back in service? They should be running tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning? Looks like just about every place is closed. There aren't any taxis around. Things aren't looking up for us. Maybe there's a karaoke place around here we could stay at. I'll look over there, so you wait right here for me, okay? Hold on, Karu! This is Owie. Miss Landlord, are you all right? Have you managed to keep dry? Yeah, more or less. We're not totally wet or dry, but we'll be fine. The real problem is the trains aren't running. What? They're not? Yeah, unfortunately. But right now, we're just trying to find some shelter from the rain. Oh, my. Um, shall I ask Miss Miyabi to pick you up? <laughs> nah, we'll be fine. <laughs> if worse comes to worse, we can spend the night together at a private karaoke place. Uh, um, spend the night together? Huh? Oh, <laughs> when I say that, I don't mean that way. You know, uh, of course not. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Suzuki and Mr. Sato are with you as well, right? Uh -huh. All right, then. Please be careful not to catch a cold in this dreadful weather. Oh, sure. Please give my regards to Karusama, too. Uh uh, oh, well... Phone call? The, uh, huh? That's right. For Miss Landlord. From Aoi chan? Did she sound worried? Yeah, but I told her you and me'd be just fine. So were you able to find a place to stay? No, not really. Oh, I see. Things aren't looking too good, huh? I think I see a place. All right, it's a godsend. <laughs> karaoke place. Sure doesn't look like it. But they do have karaoke machines here. Uh-huh. I guess there's a silver lining in every cloud, huh? It's just shelter from the storm. Yeah, we're just getting shelter.
<laughs> Tina. <laughs> yeah, Kaoru? What do you want? Towel? Oh, thank you. I could use one. Why don't we see what's on TV now? Yeah, why not? That sounds like a great idea! Uh, 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 uh. I think I'm gonna go take a shower now! Okay. I am soaked right down to my panties! Panties? You're pretty soaked yourself, aren't you? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty wet, all right. You wanna join me in the shower then? Uh, <laughs> you're cute when you blush. It's too easy with you! Uh, 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 <sighs> and that's a small fragile love. Thanks for putting up with that. Ah, oh, come on! You did a great job, Karu! Well, guess I'm going next. Let's see now. You know, you caught me totally by surprise earlier. When was that? When you wore that wedding gown. It was really pretty. Uh, what made you bring that up all of a sudden? Nothing, but it's true. <laughs> Thanks, Kaoru. You know, now that I think about it, I guess that makes you the first person who's ever seen me as a bride, gown and all. Yeah? I guess it does, doesn't it? But it sort of makes me wonder what kind of man your groom will be. Have you ever wondered? Uh-huh. I have. I've always pictured that my groom would be a lonely kind of guy. That would be a side of him that he wouldn't show that much. And also, he'd be really, really gentle. No matter how many stupid things I do, he'd just laugh and say I'm hopeless. Now, if only I could find a guy like that. Wow, you thought of all the little details, huh? And of course, you'll live in a log cabin, right? With a big lake in the back? Of course! I'll be surrounded by kids and animals. Lots and lots of both. That's pretty easy to imagine with you, Tina. <laughs> Guess it goes to show you that you know me pretty well, Kaoru. I suppose, though I don't know why you like animals so much. Hmm. Well, it's because animals can't talk. So people have to try to understand how they feel. Of course there are problems, because people can talk. But people don't always say their true feelings all the time. I'd like to go see all the animals I met on my trip one more time. Huh? What? Would you be lonely if I wasn't around you anymore, Kaoru? Nah, of course you wouldn't be. I didn't think so. I was lonely. You were the one who got me into the photo club my freshman year. We all did some pretty stupid things back then. It made college feel like a fun place to me. But then, you disappeared out of the blue. And going to college didn't seem as fun anymore without you around. I can laugh now when we go to college, and that's all because of you. So promise me that you'll never disappear again like you did for that one year, okay? Man, how can you keep saying all that embarrassing stuff? Are you sure you're not drunk? <laughs> Maybe I am. Jeez, I'm starting to feel cold again. I'm gonna go take another shower. Mom and Dad would probably never forgive me for doing this. But it's okay if it's with Kuro. Huh? You should take a shower, Kaoru. Yeah. Yeah! I... <sighs> I, I better go take my shower now. <laughs> Tina seems really different today for some reason. What should I do? What's the right thing to do? What the heck was I thinking? Tina's a friend. 
She's just a friend. Tina. Y you know, Tina, I don't think it's a good idea to do anything that jeopardizes our relationship. I consider you a good friend, and I, I can't think of you as anything more. And also, to tell the truth... Uh, huh? Jeez, this is just like you, Tina. Guess I sort of fell asleep last night, didn't I? Huh? Y yeah, you did. It was kind of a strange night, huh? It sure was. Say, Karu? Hmm? Do you think it would be all right if I could hold your hand? What? Yeah, I don't really mind. Sure. <laughs> all right, thanks. I'm sorry. W what's that? Nah, it was nothing at all. Just forget it. Anyway, let's hurry back. Miss Landlord's gotta be worried. Come on! Hey, you're hurting my hand, stupid! Yeah, but Sure was a tough spot I was in that time. Oh, Miss Chica. She was a nice, spunky girl. Yeah, I hope we get to play with her again. Oh, it's a letter, huh? What? hesitate to ask yeah I don't mind helping out either just concentrate on your homework and leave the hard stuff to us oh thank you you guys are the greatest <laughs> Chica? Help me, big brother! English 
Evolution's hard, but understanding how people from Hakata think is even harder! Come on in! Hey, Chika-chan! Do you need any help over here? No thanks! I'm okay! But I might ask your help if I don't understand! You sure are a good girl, aren't you? She's definitely Tayako-chan's cousin, all right. She works hard, just like her. So that goes right here, and I have to remember about this thing, too. She's really going at an incredible pace. Mm. And it seems she's not getting anything wrong, either. Looks like Chika-chan's a bright girl to boot. Mm. Hmm. Look at this, big brother. I don't understand this question. Could you explain it? No problem. Okay, let's have a look here. You don't have to thank me for anything. Mm, but... But I was happy that you looked over my homework, though I guess I got a little carried away. I'm really sorry about that. It's all right. No harm done. Yeah, but this makes it the second time that he's seen me totally naked. That means there's no choice but for me to wed him from now on. <sighs> huh? <laughs> to do all this. I know you like to help, but don't go out of your way because you should be concentrating on your homework. Yeah, but you're all helping me by looking over my homework, right? All I want to do is return the favor. Besides, if the only thing I did all day was homework, I'd be a giant ball of stress. <laughs> That's true. It's okay with you, isn't it, Miss Allie? Uh, if this is what you really want to do, then I suppose I have no objections, Miss Chica. You're really into this, aren't you, Chika-chan? Yeah! <laughs> I'll clean the windows that are on the top since it's dangerous up there. at it. He's no match for me at all. Hey, I'm sitting right here. Okay, are you ready? Let's go! Mm -hmm. Ready? Go! Chika-chan got a perfect victory! Uh -huh. Chika-chan, I bet you've played this game before, haven't you? No, this is my first time, actually. I was just pushing the buttons like crazy, and I managed to win. You randomly pushed the buttons? All right, then. Let's play one more, but this time I'll be serious, okay? Mm-hmm. Hey, 
on that assignment after I finish the others. Come in. Uh, excuse me, Miss Miyabi. I made you some coffee. Thank you so much, Miss Chica. Please, leave it over there somewhere. There you go. Thank you. Oh. Oh. Your job must keep you busy. Yes, it does. The room always ends up looking like this once I start working. Would it be okay if I put all these files back where they belong? I really wouldn't mind that. Oh, if it's those files... Let's see now. They ought to go on this shelf. They go in alphabetical order, right? That's right. Alphabetically. Then these go over here, and these go over there. <clears throat> so then, Miss Chica, how is your homework progressing? Please don't hesitate to ask us if you should happen to get stuck somewhere. Thank you so much, Miss Miyabi. <laughs> I'm an only child, you know? So staying here like this makes me feel like I actually do have brothers and sisters, and it makes me happy knowing that. You see, I always wanted to have brothers and sisters ever since I was little. Is that really so? Well, enjoy your coffee, Miss Miyabi. I don't want to get in the way of your work, so I'll be going now. If there's anything I can do to help you out, please feel free to tell me. Oh, I will. She's a very capable person, isn't she? Delicious. That's from the songs of old and new, right? In this case, the term Nagame has two different meanings, a long reign and feelings for a certain thing. Oh, I see. Alley-oop! <sighs> In other words, these passageways prove to be a means of transporting labor, goods, and money to various locales in Japan. Is it clear to you now? Yeah. Uh, uh. anymore, but I don't have any idea what to write about. Wow! It smells so good! Would you like to try a little taste of it? What? You mean it's okay? Sure, here you go. Wow! This is so totally delicious! How in the world did you make this taste so good? Please tell if you would like, the first thing that you need. Oh, is something wrong, Miss Owie? Oh no, I forgot something. I had meant to buy soy sauce earlier, but it completely slipped my mind. Then why don't I go buy some more right now? But I... Hey, I don't mind doing it. You just have to tell me where the store is. I apologize. I hope it's not too much trouble. <laughs> Bring you along. Why don't you?
don't you just go back home and wait for me? Did you really want to go out with me that badly? I guess it'll be all right. But listen, you have to be good and stay quiet in there, okay? Well, we better hurry back. I'm sure Miss Owie's waiting for us. I'm back now. Karu-sama, did you see Miss Chika while you were out? Chika-chan? You were at the bookstore across the street from the station, weren't you, senpai? Did something happen? Yes, I'm afraid. Miss Chika went out to the market to run a shopping errand for me. But she still hasn't returned home yet. And it's been a very long time since she left for the market. It looks like she went to the shopping strip over by the train station. I see. I'm sure I didn't see her around, though. Maybe she got lost after all. I'm concerned about her. And so am I. I'll look for her. Then I will as well. So will I. Me too. Hold on. If everyone goes out looking for her, then what will we do should she return here? I suppose it's my duty to wait here just in case. To Uzume. <sighs> this is all my fault. I shouldn't have taken Uzume shopping with me. I'm sure that they'll all be angry. They'll probably never forgive me, and maybe they'll even hate me now. No! I don't want that. I don't! Uzume! You really had all of us worried. I'm just glad you didn't get yourself involved in an accident or something else horrible like that. I hope you don't ever do something like this again. You scared us nearly half to death. I'm really sorry. Next time, if you find yourself in a similar situation, please do not hesitate to contact us at once and ask for help. Miss Owie. After all, we're not all related. But that doesn't mean we're not a family. A family? That's right. We all live under one roof. We eat our meals together. We go to sleep at the same time. And we share every aspect of our lives with one another, from the fun times to the sad. Isn't that the kinds of things that families do? Well then, Miss Chica, shall we all go now? Back to the place we all call home. Sure. <laughs> and so... Even though I was born an only child, I have lots of sisters and one brother now. I have a sister who's a great cook, a sister who's always full of energy, a sister who always tries her best, a sister who's very capable, and a really gentle brother. This summer vacation turned out to be one that I don't think I'll ever be able to forget. All right! I'm finally done with all my homework! Huh? What? I can't believe Tayako's already asleep. She's probably exhausted. She's always trying to do her best at everything day after day. you like to lay down for a while, too? <gasps> yeah! Hey, big brother? Hmm? Do you 
think you could keep your hand on my head? Sure, if you want. I like your hand there, big brother. It feels really nice. <laughs> this is a really great place, isn't it, big brother? You and all the big sisters, you're all so kind and so fun to be with. I love you all so much. I see. Feel free to come by whenever you'd like to. Because we love you, Chika-chan, and we love having you. And I love... And I love you too, big brother. I love you a lot. Thanks for taking care of me! See ya! It was nice spending time with you all. I'll come visit again soon! See you soon! You're welcome to stop by whenever you'd like. I want a rematch when you're here again! See you again soon! See you again soon! Take care! Goodness. But I have to wonder. Perhaps this means that we will be having another tenant staying with us soon. <laughs> I suppose we could. Already autumn. Oh, you look so cute, Miss huh? Holly. That looks great on you, Miss Landlord. Uh, uh. You think so? Oh, I think all of you look very adorable as well. <laughs> you think so? Looks the best of all. See, 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 see. Hey, what the heck do you think you're doing here? I'm here to help Hanabishi Sama naturally. He and I will be attending the school festival in order to relieve our academic on me, and there we'll create an autumn love story for ourselves. Why don't we see what's this way, Hanabishi Sama? <laughs> hey, wait for me, Mayu chan. Oh, Hanabishi Sama. Whatever. Lady Aoi, what is that outfit? will be running what they call a cosplay cafe during the school festival that starts at the college tomorrow. They're just trying on the outfits. Come on, hurry up! Try on the next one! Oh, right! Lady Aoi! Hey, I just realized we haven't seen Kaoru! Maybe he isn't done changing into his costume yet! Kaoru, how long is it gonna take you? Yeah, <coughs> not yet! <coughs> Kurusama? <laughs> what a surprise. I've never heard Lady Aoi laugh out loud so freely. Huh. I didn't want Aoi chan to see me like this. Please, Sir Kaoru. Yeah? You really should hold your head higher. After all, not everyone can do what you've done. <laughs> Aoi chan! Miss Mia B! I'm over here! Ah, uh, Karusama? Oh, wow. Feel free to come on in, everybody! Welcome to Cafe Animal! Honestly, why was I relegated to the position of dishwasher? I'm supposed to be out there writing the first chapter of my autumn love story with Hanabi Shizama not stuck here scrubbing pots and pans! Are you seeing what I'm seeing, Chief? I'm seeing what you're seeing, Vice Chief! 
I never thought the cosplay cafe would be this popular. The photo club's in the red every single year, but we're finally gonna be in the black now. Our next club trip is gonna be overseas for sure. <laughs> Chip time? Is that what I think it is? So I can do this? And I can do this? I'm so glad that I came here! Is that really a service we came up with? Dunno. I think it's time we start getting the ball rolling! Hope you enjoy this! Huh? Oh. It's a boa constrictor! What the heck were you thinking, Tina? Now the place is completely wrecked and there's no way any of our customers would want to come back here. I know you love animals and I know it's the cafe's name, but what's with the snakes and lizards? What do you mean? I just thought they were cute and people would like them. And I went out of my way to rent them, too. I don't think Tina had bad intentions. She did have the cafe's best interests in mind. Yeah, that's right. I knew you would understand, Kaoru. Ah, get it away! But the festival lasts for three days, including today. So what do we do now? Huh. <sighs> now, now. Huh? Don't be so depressed. You should all have some tea and cheer up. <laughs> that hits the spot. Delicious. I've never had any kind of Japanese tea that was this good before. This tea really is delicious. It's just like everything else you make. Thank you for the compliment. Ah, there's nothing like nice tea once we're Japanese. Since when have ah. you been Japanese? Since when? Yeah, this tea really was tasty. It sure was, but we only had the cheap stuff around here, didn't we? Even when we use the same tea, mine never tastes as good as Miss Aoi's. It's a mystery of life, I guess. That's the answer! This is it! That's what we'll do! Miss Landlord! Uh, what? Hmm. There! It's all done! Excuse me. I'm sorry, but this is just so embarrassing. Does it really have to be named after me? What are you talking about, Miss Landlord? This traditional Japanese cafe just wouldn't be right if it didn't have your name. You've done a lot, and oh. you're lending us our outfits, too. I don't know how we'll ever repay you. Oh, it's all right. I'm just glad that I could be of help. Don't be concerned. Hey, guys, they're here! We just got the outfits! Here you go, Ty. Thank you very much. Woohoo! This is really starting to look authentic. Hmm? Something wrong, Hanabishi? N no, it's nothing, Sato. Hey, don't space out on us. We gotta finish everything we need for the cafe today. Yeah, I know we do. Miss Landlord, we can't have underwear on when we wear Japanese clothes, right? Is that so? Tell me it's not true. Of course not. Wearing undergarments is perfectly fine. I think for you, having some support around the chest would be good. You're a real lucky girl to have such big boobies, Ty. <laughs> that all of you will take a while longer. I apologize. I will now be teaching you all the fundamentals of the tea ceremony. The traditions and etiquette are not difficult to learn. There's no need for you all to be so tense. It's not that I'm tense. My feet are falling asleep. This is why I hate to tummy floors. Mm. My, my legs. My legs. legs. Over there, Tina Senpai. <laughs> Don't you think Hanabishi Senpai looks very natural there? How can he just sit there like that with no problem? <gasps> 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 
To begin, I will show you all how one must mix the tea. So first of all, I would like for you to try doing this. <laughs> By the end of the night, they must be able to do this, correct? That's right. Never wear traditional Japanese clothes again. The scars on my back. They hurt. It hurts. It hurts. Karusama? Uh. Oh, Aoi chan. Is something the matter? I'm sorry. Hmm? I didn't realize earlier, but this must have brought back some painful memories for you. It's okay, Aoi-chan. I really don't mind doing this at all, honestly. <laughs> hey, come on, we better go back. We could catch a cold out here. I'm sorry, Karusama. Huh? I'm sorry, Karusama. <laughs> if only I could just... If only I could just take your grief and pain and bear them in your place, I would do so in an instant. <laughs> Aoi chan. But I can't, however, don't forget that I am your fiance. And as your fiance, I can at least share these feelings with you. So, Karusama, please understand that you don't need to suffer alone. Not anymore. You're seeing Vice Chief. It looks like my gut instinct was right about this. We're gonna be in the black this time for sure. And now the photo club's first overseas trip is gonna become a reality. Hey, I hear that there's this really cute girl working at the photo club's cafe. Seriously? Let's go check it out then. Looks like we'll have more customers than we expected. Chica-chan! Miss Chica, what are you doing here today? <laughs> Taiko was nice enough to send me this flyer! Hey there, guys! How are you doing? Oh, it's Chica! Thank you, sir! Come back again! I apologize. You came here to enjoy the school festival and now we're making you work. Don't worry! I don't mind! We're totally out of tea! Can someone go out and get some more? Sorry to rush you guys, but we're out of cups, so could you hurry back there? I can't find any tea candies. Where are the extra ones? I'll be right there. Just give me a moment. <laughs> Miss Landlord, got some time? Yes. What can I do for you? You can take a break, Miss Landlord. Sato and me have got things covered. No, I couldn't. Hey, you've been working non-stop since early this morning, don't you remember? Tina and the others are getting the hang of things. I suppose that's true. I believe I will take you up on your offer. Oh! <laughs> Karusama! Hey, Aoi-chan. Thank you for your hard work. Sure thing. How's the cafe doing? Very well, actually. Everyone is doing their best just trying to keep up with all the customers that we've been getting thanks to your advertising. Takoyaki. I see. Delicious That's great. Huh? Why don't we have some takoyaki, Aoi-chan? 
It is almost lunchtime. Sure. Wow, they look delicious. They're hot, so be careful. Um, actually, Karusama, you first. Eh? Ah. Oh. Uh. Miss Landlord! Uh. Oh, there you are! We've got a big problem, Miss Landlord. It looks like Ta has spilled the tea again. Huh? I'm sorry, but can you come back now? Yes, of course. I'll be right there. I apologize, Karusama. And we finally had some time alone, too. Uh, sorry about that. Hey, watch where you're going. Jeez, are you okay, Hero? I guess I'll go deliver this order, then. The comedy club is the classroom at the end of the hallway on the right side. Don't go to the wrong place. Right. I'm back! Yo! Good work! Why don't you take some time off for now? Sounds good to me. I think I'll go take a walk around campus. Hi, big brother! Hey there, Chika-chan. Wanna come for a walk? I absolutely will not allow that! Hanabi Shisama and I are supposed to be writing the conclusion to our autumn love story together! What are you talking about over here? It's not time for your break yet, little missy! I don't care! Come, come on! on. Me there, young lady. The four of us are members of the Mei Ritsu Festival Management Committee. I see. If you don't mind, we would very much like for you to enter our contest this year. Thank we beg you. you. I'm sorry, but I, I'm rather busy. Uh. We, we beg, beg you, you, miss! Please, we, we beg, beg you! you. Big brother? Well, be careful on your way back. I will. And I'll come by to play again some other time. <laughs> come by any time you like. We'll be waiting for you. See ya! Bye! I'm back. Thank you for the hard work, Karusama. And thanks for your hard work, Aoi-chan. Where'd everyone else go? They went to return all the materials that they borrowed. Oh, I see. Would you like to have a little tea? Mm-hmm. That sounds great. <sighs> Your tea really is great, Aoi-chan. Thank you for saying so. Um, I bought this earlier for us to share. I wanted to have some takoyaki with you since we couldn't have it at lunchtime. Even if it has gone a little cold. Mm-hmm. You first, Karusama. Mm. Mm. It's good. <laughs> I'm so glad. <gasps> this is very good. <laughs> it seems we finally have some time to ourselves now. Uh, yeah. You know, today was truly an enjoyable day for me. Being so busy and interacting with so many people were both new experiences, but because you weren't near me today, Karusama, I was a little lonely without you. 
Awe chan. You know, while I was out there today, I saw a lot of couples around, and I thought to myself that I'd love it if we could walk together like that and enjoy the festival. What a coincidence! You felt the same way I did, Karasama. I'm so glad. May I ask a favor of you? Huh? Could you... Stay still for just a short moment. Sure. Uh. I'm sorry, Karasama. Thanks for the heart! Something wrong we should know about? Uh, nothing's wrong at all, Tina. Nothing, honestly. <laughs> the economic effect is a deflation spiral. I've had enough. Uh, huh? uh, I guess I fell asleep. That's no good. The due date for this economics report is coming up pretty soon. Uh. up with Miss Landlord? No, I don't. I haven't seen her all morning, come to think of it. Hmm? Oh, good morning. I'm sorry, everyone. I was actually on my way to wake you all. Aoi-chan! Miss Landlord! Wake up, Aoi-chan! 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 You mustn't push yourself, so please go and get some bed rest. I'm all right. This is really nothing to be concerned about. Don't be so unreasonable. A high fever is very serious. I truly am all right. I think it's just a cold. Kaurusama, there's no need to be worried about me. Please go on ahead to your classes. But Aoi-chan, I... I'm all right, honestly. Miss Tina... Miss Taiko, you'll also be late if you don't leave soon. Sir Kaoru, I agree with Lady Aoi's sentiments as well. I will take care of her while you all go to school. You sure? As I said, please don't worry. <gasps> Kaoru! <gasps> Come on, we're gonna be late! Okay, I'll be right behind you. Sorry, guys. I apologize. Please don't. I should be the one apologizing to you. After all, Lady Aoi, I should have been more attentive in my duties and noticed the change in your condition earlier. Karusama, uh, please don't be worried about me. I'll be all right, honestly, Karusama. Why don't we have a nice quiet dinner, just the two of us? What do you say? Well, Mayu-chan, to tell the truth... It looks like tonight will be a gorgeous night, so you should spend it with Mayu. Doesn't that sound wonderful, Hanabishi-sama? Ah! You really irritate me! Kaoru doesn't have time to play with you, okay? 
What is it with you? You're behaving much more rudely than usual today. You have absolutely no right to tell Hanabi Shisama and I what to do in our private time. Right, Hanabi Shisama? Sorry, Mayu chan Huh? Aoi chan just caught a cold recently. What? Miss Aoi is ill? You understand, right? I suppose, but still. Perhaps another time. Thanks. Oh, I see now. Huh? The key is proper mixing, so that's how you cook it right. Saki eggnog is hard to make. Uh. Man, I sure wish these classes would end already. It looks like they're all worried about Aoi chan, too. I'm perfectly all right, honestly. Aoi chan. We're back! Welcome home. I didn't expect you back so soon. How's Miss Landlord holding up, Miss Manager? Shh, lower your voice, Miss Tina. Lady Aoi is currently asleep in her room. I guess her fever hasn't gone down yet, huh? That's gotta be hard on Miss Landlord. <sighs> Miss Miyabi! I understand. I will continue looking after Lady Aoi these next few days. So I leave the household chores to you three. Sir Karu, please clean the mansion. Sure thing. Miss Tina, the laundry. I got it covered! Miss Taiko, dinner preparations are yours. Yes, ma'am! Well then, do your best, everyone. Easily said. But I still have this much left to do. I can't believe how hard Aoi-chan has to work every day. There's lots to do. Help me, Karu! Tina, what's wrong? Oh, the washing machine's out of control! It's got a lab of its own! Jeez, what are you doing here? The only thing I was trying to do was get all the laundry done like Miss Manager asked. And that's when... That can't be right. <laughs> This house looks, you'd think we were all out sick or something. It does look that way. But this should be nothing if Miss Owie did it all herself. It should be nothing, huh? We better just call it a day, guys. I suppose we should. Let's do our best tomorrow. Good night, senpai. The sake eggnog is from Miss Taiko, and the energy drinks are from Miss Tina. Please forgive me. I did not mean to make you all worry. Don't concern yourself with us. Right now, your top priority is only to get better. I know. But still, I feel rather ashamed of myself. It's just the thought that I am interfering with Kaurusama's studies. I'm usually always thinking about what different ways I can be of help to him in our daily lives. But as it stands now, I'm just a burden. Lady Aoi. Huh? 
Good morning, Miss Miyabi. Huh? Oh, Sir Kaoru, what prompted you to wake up so early today? Actually, I have the day off, so I was thinking about doing some cleaning. Then you must have been the one who put new flowers in the vase. Oh, that? Sure was. I thought seeing some pretty flowers in the morning would be a nice way to start the day. Even if I couldn't arrange them as well as Aoi-chan does. Kaoru! Come here, sir! Huh? Hurry up! Well, I better see what Tina wants, so we'll talk later. Yeah, that white one is fine. All right, how's this one? That's out. We'll wash the prints later. Okay, how about this? Out too. I think this needs a good cleaning. That's out too. Then what about this? There's still this much left. If you're getting tired, why don't you go take a break for a little bit? I'm fine. Let's try to finish this up. But you know, it's amazing how Miss Owie clean places like this all the time by herself. Yeah, it is. I never realized just how much work it took. It's always so clean here. Karu! <laughs> I'm done with all the laundry. And the washing machine didn't go crazy this time. I'm so proud. It's like I told you. Take care of it and it'll take care of you. Yeah! like you said, and everything went as smooth as a penguin going down an ice floe. All I had to do was imagine what Aoi-chan would have done there. All right then, Kaoru, what do you think I should do next? Let me think now. If I was Aoi-chan, I'd go shopping. So I'll take care of the rest here, and you guys handle the shopping, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay then, I'm gonna grab every discount I see and get things way cheaper than the landlord. Come on, Ty. Hey, wait for me, Tina Simpon. much better. Her fever has started to break. I think that's about it for now. Come in. I'm sorry to bother you while you're working. I don't mind. Can I help you with something? I'm sorry if this sounds like a selfish request. The economics report I've been working on is due soon, and I can't find any good source materials. Sir Kaoru, are you certain that you are all right? Huh? It must be difficult to do both your schoolwork and the household chores, is it not? I can handle this much. I'll be okay. Oh. Let's see. Globalization. The effect when local economies expand to include a con... <coughs> Thanks for waking me up, Uzume. I'm lucky you're here to help out. Okay. We're back from shopping! We bought a ton! Uh, what's all this? Did you three make this? Yeah, we figured we couldn't go wrong if we each made the dishes we were good at, so we split up the cooking duties. This over here is my own special stamina soup. Perfect for jumpstarting a tired body. The mixed tempura is mine. Doesn't it look great? I think I did a pretty good job on it. Mine's the staple of poor college students everywhere. A vegetable stir-fry with all the odds and ends. Looks like we did a great job. Let's dig in before it gets cold. By the way, huh? did you remember to cook rice? <laughs> Financial transactions have benefited from the improvements in information Reduce technology. Reduce the heat! Huh? Miss Miyabi! The heat is much too high. Lower it this instant! Uh, okay. Increase it to medium heat when it boils and cook it thoroughly. I will. But if I'm not mistaken, preparing Lady Aoi's porridge is my responsibility. I know. Sorry. Sir Kaoru, huh? don't overexert yourself. I appreciate the concern. 
But compared to the work that Aoi-chan does, this is practically a vacation. What? You know, I never realized it before. But Aoi-chan is always thinking about everyone. Always smiling. She never even makes a single sour face as she does all this hard work. That's our Aoi-chan. She really is amazing. Sir Kaoru? Huh? Without green onion, Japanese parsley, and eggs, a delicious bowl of rice porridge is not complete. Oh, right. Uh, let's see. That's strange. What the heck? Where did the eggs go? This is all right. That's good to hear. I guess I better let you take over now. Sir Kaoru. Uh, yeah? Take this to Lady Aoi's room. What? But I'm not... It's just for today. I ask that you stay by Lady Aoi's side. Miss Miyabi. Now, run along. Okay. Please, take this as well. What's that for? Your report's topic is macroeconomics, is that not correct? That's right. Then you will find this book to be a more valuable source of information. Yeah? Thanks. Miss Miyabi, you're a lifesaver. A lifesaver. It's so small. Her whole body is so small and fragile looking. Yet she's done such demanding chores all this time. Aoi-chan. That's right. Aoi-chan has a habit of clinging to things in her sleep. Don't you, Aoi-chan? Oh, I'm sorry. Huh? Karusama? I don't think you should be sitting up yet, Aoi-chan. Is there something wrong? What's the matter, Aoi-chan? I apologize. I've only been a burden to you lately. But because I am your fiancé... I should be doing all that I can do to help you, so I promise to redouble my efforts. I promise. Today, huh? we tried to do what you normally do, and it took all of us to do it. Nothing went the way we wanted it to. And I realized again just how amazing you are. Just thinking that such an amazing woman was my fiancé honestly made me very happy. I'll stay by your side for the rest of the night, so don't you worry. Uh, is that really true? Is there something you'd like me to do? Uh, actually... Well... Um, well, there is one thing that you could do right now. Please, I'd like you to hold me. I'd be glad to. This is the first time that I've seen her want something so much. No, this isn't the first time. Back then, too. Okay, that's the end. What? A 
want to be piggybacked some more. That's too bad. Karu sama. No more. That's the end. Come on, please, Karu sama. Aoi chan hasn't changed one bit. She's still the same as when we first met. So demanding, such a crybaby. But she only shows that side to me. That's the real Aoi chan. I'd like to take you to. That can't be. Uh, however, so that's the case. Yes, I understand. Lady Aoi. Hey, Mommy, can I have something to drink now? I got thirsty. Of course, dear. Just hold on for one minute. Here. Yay! Aoi-chan, if you don't mind... Yes? When you get better, there's some place I'd like to take you to. Kaurusama? I'm sorry if I forced you to come along on this selfish trip of mine. Oh, please don't say that. I really don't mind at all. On the contrary, the fact you and I are going somewhere alone actually pleases me very much. I'm glad that you invited me along. By the way, where are we going? How do I put this? Well, we're going to see someone, I guess. To see someone? Then who might this person be? You'll just have to wait and see. Until then, it's a secret. Mm. Oh, you're so mean, Karusama! <laughs> Oh, Aoi-chan, I want to take a slight detour, is that all right? Sure. <laughs> Excuse me, miss. Can I have this cooked pumpkin and this fried chicken? No, scratch that. Let me get this Japanese omelet instead. Sure, just a moment, sir. Mm, excuse me, Karusama. Are you buying these as gifts for the person we're visiting? Hmm? If that's true, this person must really love Japanese food. Maybe two of these. Yeah, two of those. And I'll also take a couple of the ones over here. A flower shop? Kaurusama? Who exactly is this person that we came here to visit? Aoi-chan? <gasps> Thanks a lot for waiting. Well, let's get going now. <sighs> Finally here at last. This place sure is a long way from the train station, huh? It's this way, Awe-chan. of flowers bloom around here, depending on the season. I've always wanted you to see this place, Aoi-chan. I'm glad we came on a nice day.
Awichan, let me introduce you. This is Kumi Honjo, my mother. I'll go get some water, so wait here for a minute, okay? All right. I'm pleased to meet you. My name is Aoi Sakuraba. Please, allow me. Thanks. Um, Kaoru-sama? So, what kind of person was your mother? Hmm, a very kind person. Very kind. Even after I became part of the Hanabishis when I was five, she kept sending letters as often as she could. It seems she was a good mother. Yeah. But, you know, we were apart so long, I can't remember her face clearly. It's kind of strange, don't you think? I remember how kind my mom was, but even so, ask anything else, and I honestly wouldn't know what to tell you. So when I come here, I bring things that I imagined she liked, and I also try to imagine what she was like. But if you stop and think, she may not be anything like the mom in my imagination. Maybe I'm just holding on to that image because it's more convenient. I don't really believe that's the case. asked myself a similar question. Is Kaoru-sama different from what I remember? I wondered how your interests had changed, what kinds of talents you had developed, and what it was that you were currently doing. I imagined such things as well, but when we met again, I discovered that you were just as I had imagined. So I believe I can say with certainty that your mother must be exactly as you imagine. Thanks, Aoi-chan. And I also believe that I understand how your mother must have felt. Her thoughts were never far from you. I can understand, because my thoughts were just like hers. In all those years, they never strayed far from you either. I guess they didn't. You know something? I'm glad that I came here with you. Mom, meet Aoi-chan. She's the one, the most important person to me in this world. What's this about, Kagurazaki? I apologize, sir. However, with all due respect, I ask that you reconsider this course of action. This is a matter that concerns Lady Aoi's future after- I've heard enough! This decision was made with Aoi's future in mind, as well as that of the Sakuraba family. As the one charged with my daughter's education, you should be smart enough to realize that. Your opinions are not needed. The only thing that I need from you is your complete obedience. Do not disappoint me, Kagurazaki. I'll excuse myself now. Yes, it has gotten quite late, but I'm back now. Hi, Miss Miyabi. I came by to visit. It's nice to have you with us again. Hold on. Doesn't your game strike anyone as being the least bit ridiculous? Going back 50 spaces when the tide comes in, making your face look like a tuna fish when you run out of food, and forcing you to look like a clown when your camouflage makeup isn't put on right. How in the world can you fail so miserably that you end up looking like this? How, I ask you? <laughs> uh, it's all right, as long as it's fun. 
to join in, Miss Manager? Huh? This is a board game that I made up. I call it Survivor Go Home. I've even got a token here I made just for you. Sorry, next time, perhaps. I guess that means it's your turn next, Miss Owie. Oh, sure. Hey, you guys want to go moon watching? Do we want to go moon watching? The day after tomorrow is the harvest moon. Oh, that's very soon. Come to think of it, I've known about moon watching, but I've never actually gone to one before. Yeah, neither have I. That's normal, I guess. You don't really hear too much about people going moon watching these days, do you? I hear the weather's going to be good on that day, too. So let's do it. What do you say? If we'll be doing this together, let's have a party. Mm. Yeah, why not? All right, let's do okay, it. Okay, that's the spirit. Let's all go out. Lady Owie? Yes, come in. What? You're going home? I am, but Miss Miyabi and I will be back before tomorrow evening. Then that means you'll come back just in time for the party. Of course. I'll see you all then. That's a relief. It wouldn't be a very good party without your cooking. Did something happen, Aoi-chan? Actually, Miss Miyabi hasn't shared very many details about it with me. So I'm afraid I'm at a loss. Oh, But I'll be back very soon, Karusama. So there isn't any reason to worry. Lady Aoi. Oh, that's right. Well then, everybody, I will be off now. I want you to meet someone. This is Aoi Sakuraba, the most important person to me in the world. What the... Aoi-chan? Hey, where'd you go? Aoi-chan, you there? I'll be right there, Tina. More to the right! One more, 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 more! Okay! <laughs> <laughs> this is yummy! Hey, wait till the party. They sure are late. What could be keeping Miss Owie and Miss Miyabi? We won't be able to begin the party as scheduled if they take much longer. It's not like them to be so late. I wonder what could have happened. This is the first time Miss Owie's been home in a while. It could be that she decided to stay an extra night because she was happy to be back. I'm usually really happy too whenever I get the chance to visit my home. But it's always tough to see the lonely look on my mother's face when I have to leave. I know the feeling. It's like that with my mama and papa too. And considering how kind-hearted Miss Owie is, I'm sure that's why she's not back yet. Right? Don't you agree? Senpai? Uh, sorry, but you're right. I agree. Well, I guess there's no help in it. It won't be the Harvest Moon anymore, but let's put off the party till tomorrow night. Aoi-chan. Karu-sama. Aoi-chan? Aoi-chan? Aoi-chan, it's you. Karusama. Aoi-chan. You're finally back home. What a relief. I'm glad to see you. You had me worried. I'm truly sorry. Karusama, I'm truly sorry. It's alright. It really is, Aoi-chan. You don't have to apologize. 
Your coming back is enough for me, really. Karusama, I... I... I can no longer be by your side. Please forgive me. Uh. Are we John? This is where we must say our farewells. What's going on? I don't understand, Howie-chan. What are you talking about? Goodbye, Kaoru-sama. Goodbye. Hey, hold on a minute, Howie-chan. Come back! Goodbye. 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 At least tell me the reason why, Howie-chan! Howie-chan! Wait! Howie-chan! It's the same. The same as back then. No. No. I don't want to lose someone again. Not someone I care about. Kurusama! Aoi chan. So, they're not back yet. But I'll be back very soon, Karusama. So there isn't any reason to worry. Maybe... Maybe something happened to her. I just feel it. Something's wrong. I'm going. I need to go to her. <sighs> Miss Miyabi! Come, Sir Kaoru. It is imperative for us to leave right away. Miss Miyabi? Is Aoi-chan still at her parents' house? It's like the other day. She's not talking. I've got so many questions. Do you remember? Huh? I'm referring to the time when you and I first met each other. Oh, yeah. If I recall, Sir Kaoru, I utterly despised you to be perfectly honest, even before you and I met each other. Despite my years of service to her, you, a person who had hardly been by her side, were the only one that she could ever think of. It would not be much of an exaggeration to say that Lady Aoi's every waking thought was about you. You know, I've already decided who I'm going to marry when I finally grow up. Huh? I'm going to be married to Kaoru-sama of the Hanabishi family. So I have to do a better job with my lessons. I have to try even harder than I am now. After all, it's so that I can be together with Kaoru-sama. <sighs> Lady Aoi seemed to think so highly of the heir to the Hanabishi Corporation. Every time she spoke of Karu Hanabishi, it always left me wondering what kind of person he really was. Yet when we finally met, you were an ordinary college student living in a pitiful apartment. I was disappointed in you, and your existence irritated me. What was the point of Lady Aoi bearing all those days of hard work? What was the purpose of allowing herself to suffer so much pain, so much anguish? However... Lady Aoi! There is no reason for you to be doing such menial labor. You are the daughter of the Sakuraba family. I don't mind it at all, Miss Miyabi. Remember now, it's been my dream to take care of Karusama like this ever since I was a little girl. Hey, that looks really delicious, Aoi-chan. Oh, thank you. Would it be alright to taste a little? Sure, here you go. <laughs> Thanks. 
After seeing how Lady Aoi has been since she met you, what she thought, what she felt, and what she longed for, I have finally begun to understand. I now know you've already become a part of Lady Aoi's life. Miss Miyabi. If that truly is the case now. No matter what may happen in the future, I promise I will do all I can to protect you. Sir Kaoru. Huh? Do you remember? I'm referring to the time when you and I first met each other. Oh, yeah. Even before we met, I truly despised you, to be perfectly honest. But things have changed since that time. After seeing how Lady Aoi has been since she met you, what she thought, what she felt, and what she longed for, I have finally begun to understand. If that truly is the case now. No matter what may happen in the future, I promise I will do all I can to protect you. This note was posted on Kaoru's door. What? Why would he leave like that? Do you know if he had somewhere else to be? I have no idea. What are you talking about? How can you have no idea? What part of that didn't you get, huh? Don't be irresponsible, just answer the question! How's that irresponsible? It's irresponsible since you're irresponsible! What was that? Oh, would you stop fighting over this? Mr. Sayonji? Hmm... I don't believe there is any need for concern, considering the note. If you say so, but Mayu is still concerned! What the heck's going on inside of Kaoru's head, leaving like that? Oh, are you trying to insinuate that this is all Hanabi Shisama's fault? You got a problem with that or something? Come on, stop fighting. Jeez, where in the world did you go, Big Brother? This is... Karusama! Karusama! You're here, Karusama! I'm relieved. I thought that something had happened to you. <clears throat> Miss Miyabi, I apologize for troubling you. Thank you so much for all that you've done. Of course. Aoi-chan, did something happen when you were back at home? Everything is fine. It really was nothing important. Huh? But... Would it be alright for us to take a short walk? Go ahead. I have some errands to run, so I will not be able to accompany you, unfortunately. Thank you so much. Shall we, Karusama? Sure. I have to say that taking a leisurely walk with you is always enjoyable. Yeah? R really? Oh, Karusama, look there! Huh? Adorable. Especially with its cheeks bulging out like that. <laughs> wow. There was a shrine built all the way out here? Yes. Actually, there's a god of romance if you look closely. You're right. All the wishing plates are about relationships. <sighs> Delicious. Yeah. Hey, isn't that...
tree. Hey, Aoi-chan. I've been around this place before, haven't I? Yes. It was here that you and I spent our time together after our initial meeting, Karusama. To tell you the truth, when I first met you that day, I have to admit I felt a little frightened. There was not a single trace of emotion on your face. It was as if you lacked them entirely. But when we came out to these woods, you really surprised me. <laughs> Wait for me, Karasama! Come on, slow down! The real you was a very cheerful boy and slightly mischievous. <laughs> Did I surprise you? Karusama, you're a meanie! <gasps> Are you okay, Aoi-chan? That hurt a lot! <laughs> Come on, Aoi-chan. But you are a very kind and very wonderful person. Well, hurry up. Okay. You know, I think I remember being a little nervous when I first met you. Nervous? Yeah. Well, it's because your hair was so shiny, and you looked so cute. I thought you looked just like a doll. You were such a cute girl, so I thought it might be fun to try to make you laugh or catch you by surprise. Huh? If that's so, that's the reason you were playing all those mean pranks on me. <laughs> Sorry about that. I really had a lot of fun playing here. It's all starting to come back. You certainly did. I remember that you were enjoying yourself. It's because they hardly let me play at the Hanabishi house. Hey, Harusama! That's why back then. Come on, wake up, okay? Oh. What is it, Aoi-chan? Nothing. Please don't pay any attention. It's still so big. Oh, yeah, that's right. I think it was somewhere around here. Oh, here it is. I found it, Aoi-chan. Oh, so you did. Stand right here, Aoi-chan. What are you gonna do, Karusama? Just wait a minute, okay? It's not another frog, is it? Nope, it's this. Wow, it's so pretty. Let me see it. Sorry, but you can't. Just hold still, okay? This is the greatest treasure I have in the whole world. Oh. You're this line, Aoi-chan, and I'm this one. <laughs> All right, look at that. I'm way taller than you. What? I want to see you measure us again. No way. <laughs> Please? No way. It was after that day that we had to say goodbye. Karusama! Aoi-chan. Karusama, I don't want you to go back home. I'm sorry. Is this fine with you, Karusama? You don't want to be together with me? That's not the reason at all. I really wanted to spend more time with you too, Aoi-chan. Then why don't you just stay here longer? I don't want to go home either, but... Aoi-chan? Huh? Take this. I'll lend it to you. But that's your greatest treasure in the whole world, isn't it? It's okay. Just give it back to me when we meet again. Oh, yeah. And when you do, we'll compare heights again, Aoi-chan. Okay? Mm. All right, then, Karusama. It's a promise. Yeah. That key was actually something that I inherited from my mother. It was the key to her old jewelry box. But the box itself was burned up along with all the other memories of my mother. Karusama. Yeah? I have held on to this for a long time, but I will now return this important memory of your mother to you as promised. Thank you. Because you protected that key all this time, Aoi-chan. At least one memory of my mother has made it back to me. Karusama. I'm so glad that I met you, Karusama. I'm glad that the first...
first person I ever fell in love with was you, Karu-sama. Me too. I will return tomorrow morning to pick you up. But doesn't that mean we're gonna... Until tomorrow morning? We're all alone. You, you know? know? Oh, I apologize. That's okay. It's nothing you need to apologize for. No, I guess it isn't. Uh, excuse me, Aoi-chan. What is it? Would you mind passing the soy sauce? Not at all. Here. Thanks. Uh... uh, uh... <laughs> it's a little far, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, just a little bit. Um, Karusama? Huh? Would it be all right if I sat down next to you? Uh, sure. For some reason, this feels a little like a honeymoon. Uh, yeah, kinda. Uh. Like a honeymoon, huh? That means... Karusama? Huh? Say, ah! Uh. Huh? Where did that come from, Aoi-chan? Oh, I apologize. I didn't mean to be so forward. It's just, from the expression you had, I thought you would enjoy it. How did you know? Uh, I was actually just thinking how I wanted you to do that. You really mean it? Yeah. Well then, say ah! Um, mm, that was tasty. Then, could the next one be this one? Wow, you're right again. Um... <laughs> Aoi-chan, are my feelings really that apparent on my face? Oh no, it isn't like that at all, Karusama. I just watch you a lot, so that's how I know what you're feeling. What I like is the expression you have when you're happy, and also the one when you're deep in thought. However, what I like best is your smile, Karusama. Aoi-chan. Did you have too much food to eat? Yeah. Phew. It all tasted so good. Huh? Keep that up and you'll get tired of looking at me one day. Not at all. I'll never get tired of looking at the face of the one I love. Oh, uh, oh that's right. We should probably take our bath soon. Uh, Aoi-chan, why don't you take yours first? Karusama? Why don't we bathe together? Pardon me. <sighs> Would it be all right to sit by your side? Uh, sure. You have quite a large back. There's so much to wash. You think so? Another one of my dreams came true. Dreams? That's right. I've always wanted to scrub your back just like this, Karusama. Uh. <sighs> Sorry. I know it's not a pretty sight to look at. It's okay, Aoi-chan. I really don't mind doing this at all, honestly. Huh? Did these old injuries still? Well, yeah, sometimes. But it's kind of strange. Uh. I think it was about the time you helped wipe my back in the old apartment. But since that time, the pain started to fade. 
I'm sure that it's because you've been healing my wounds over time, like you said. Huh? Are we, John? I... I have dreams, many of which have come true. I've dreamt of preparing your dinner and drawing your bath, all the while waiting for you to come home from work. And when you finally returned, I would always say, welcome back. On your days off, we would sit on the ledge together and share the pastries that I made that day. If you were tired, I would massage your shoulders. And if it was cold, I would sit under the heated table with you. However, the dream I wanted most to come true was... was to be... Your wife, Karusama. Karusama! Karusama, I can't possibly imagine any life that doesn't have you. I beg you, please allow me to continue staying by your side. I beg you, Karusama! I arranged it all. He's the son of a trader who's done well in America, and I approve of his family. I met him the other day. He had very good manners and seemed to be a very strong-willed man. I have no complaints if he is your partner. You will be meeting him soon. Please slow down for a moment, Father. You've never mentioned this arranged marriage to me before. Besides which, I still have Karusama, and he's always oh, we... been in... It's true that this arranged marriage is a beneficial one for the Sakuraba family. But that was not my primary concern. Your happiness is what was important to me. If that's true, if my happiness is what's truly important, let me stay with Karus. Enough of this childish make-believe! He is no longer one of the Hanabishi household. He's merely an ordinary boy who's lost the Hanabishi crown. He cannot possibly make you happy. Just forget that you ever knew that boy. I've kept quiet about this for some time, but that ends today. All right? No. I cannot do this. I can't go through with this. I won't submit to this arrangement. Then I forbid you to leave this house for now. Please, wait a moment. Father! Lady Aoi... You should at least meet with the other party. No, I will not see him. Please, is there no way to convince you to reconsider? Lady Aoi, if I do go through with this, I will no longer be able to stay at Karusama's side, and I will be forced to marry someone other than the one I want to marry. However... However, I am Karusama's wife! Do you intend to forsake the Sakuraba name, Lady Aoi? The only thing that act will accomplish is to anger the Master. And you will no longer be allowed to step foot in this house. You will no longer be able to see Sir Kaoru either. I understand. But I have one request before I do this. I want to see Kaoru-sama one last time. That's what happened. I apologize, Karusama, for keeping this quiet. I truly love you very much. But it seems that all I am ever capable of doing is troubling you. Aoi-chan. However, now that I've seen you like this, Karusama, I finally understand. I know now this is the place where I should be. Uh. After all, I belong to you and only you. Karusama. I don't want to be separated from you. I'll never let you go. I am certain that Lady Aoi and Sir Kaoru must have already departed by now. My principal duty is to preserve Lady Aoi's happiness. 
this is right. I should be doing this. <gasps> Lady Aoi, Sir Kaoru, what are you two still doing here? Lady Aoi. Chica, everything will be fine. That's right. There isn't anything to worry about. I don't know, guys. They're gonna come back, okay? No doubt about it. Yeah. <sighs> It'll be all right. Well, let's get going. doing here take us there miss miyabi where to the sakuraba estate are you certain about this yes i decided this with karusama yeah we discussed it last night we're set on talking things out an awkward guy and he's the type that can't lie to himself but those two things are what's so good about him I guess Kagorozaki I want an explanation uh, yes of course sir actually to tell the truth father the only thing Miss Miyabi did was fulfill a selfish request of mine. I wanted to see Karusama again. I'm the one that's to blame, so I will take full responsibility for all of her actions. I will be the judge of fault. But this is not Miss Miyabi's fault. The blame should fall on me. Aoi. I know that I came unannounced, and I apologize, but there was something important that I wish to discuss with you. Not another word out of you. This is a Sakuraba family matter. Uh no, it isn't, Father. Please listen to what Karusama has to say. His feelings are the same as my own. Feelings, you say? Please, just hear me out, sir. I have no reason to do so. I beg you, please. Hanabisha Senpai really has a straightforward heart. That's why he shines so brightly. And whenever I see him, I think about how I need to do my best in life. Please. Please, just hear me out, sir. I beg of you to hear him out as well, sir. He came here with very honorable intentions. You shouldn't overstep your bounds. Remember your place, Kagurazaki. I was charged with Lady Aoi's education. And because I've served your daughter all these years, ensuring her happiness is my place. Very well, Miyabi. The young man may speak freely. Thank you, Mother. I'm in your debt. Thank you. I... as I am now, I am no longer officially a member of the Hanabishi House. The circumstances have changed since the engagement. I'm just a college student now, and I'm afraid I can't make any promises about the future. But still... Even so, I... Is this nonsense all you have to say? <sighs> Did you honestly think that I approved of your relationship with my daughter, considering your state? There are no words that can describe my disgust. You are the one who betrayed us. <sighs> you abandoned your obligation. You betrayed the feelings that my daughter had for you. You betrayed the one who believed in you the most as your fiancé. And in doing so, you betrayed our feelings as well as parents who care for their daughter. You betrayed our entire family! Since you had something to say, I assumed you were going to apologize. I don't intend to let you have my daughter. 
If that's understood, then leave right now! Hold on, Father! It is true. It is true that I was the one who broke the promise to your family. So you could say that we're not really engaged anymore. And I may never be forgiven for this. But I... I just didn't want to run away anymore. For her sake as well as mine. So this is for Aoi's sake? Hanabishi-sama is a person with a very gentle heart. Gentle, yet strong. I'm sure it must be because he's known more pain in his heart than anyone should ever have to experience. I have no family. My father and mother were never allowed to be wed. My mother was said to be unworthy of carrying the Hanabishi name. And soon after I was born, she and I lost my father to an accident. It was just the two of us. But because the Hanabishis lost their only heir in that accident, they needed a successor. So they forced me back into their house. It was then that I was separated from my only family. There was no love in the Hanabishi house. And every day I dreamt of being reunited with my mother. However, that reunion never came. <clears throat> Ever since then, I've been all alone. With no one to rely on, and nowhere to return. I was lonely and sad. It was because I knew those feelings, the pain of losing one's entire family, that I also knew that I never wanted Aoi-chan to feel the same way. That's the reason why I decided to come here and discuss things with you. Sakaro. Is that all you have to say? <gasps> Did you honestly think that I would just forgive you after hearing that story? If so, you're a foolish man. Father, please! Father, please don't go yet! Aoi-chan's... Aoi-sakuraba is important to me. No one can replace her. I don't want to lose anybody I love ever again! I'm sorry. Karusama. Well then, Kaoru, Aoi. Huh? Everything is fine. Despite what you think, your father has chosen to accept Kaoru. How so, madam? If he had not accepted Kaoru, then he would have had some servants escort him off the estate. But your father chose to leave the room himself. your smile, Aoi. But ever since you returned home the other day, you have not smiled even once. I remember the day you were born. It was warm and the sky was a piercing shade of blue, much like today. The color blue has the power to heal people's hearts. It's so kind, so pure. 
You were named in honor of that piercing blue with those very images in mind. I accept that man, but I have not forgiven him. It's only that I always want you to be smiling. That's all. You are my daughter. You are my daughter who is more precious to me than even my own life. Father, I never knew. This is your home, Howie. Come back whenever you wish. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for everything. Thank you, Father. It seems that everything turned out for the best, Lady Aoi. Miss Miyabi, I apologize for troubling you so all this time. Please, raise your heads, the two of you. I was simply doing what I felt was most appropriate. Well then, Sir Kaoru, I will leave Lady Aoi in your care. Huh? Miss Miyabi? What do you mean? The duties that were assigned to me are complete. Please forgive me, Lady Aoi. I realize that my work performance could have been improved in many areas. But in any case, I hope that your life with Sir Kaoru will be a happy one. Miss Miyabi. Oh. We should all go back home together, Miss Miyabi. Back to the place where our family must be waiting. Uh -huh. mm. I'm sure they've got to be waiting for us. so it'll be ready whenever they come home. So we can welcome them with a smile. Because that's what it means to be a family. What it means to be a family? Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You two don't get it. I don't blame you. But you know, I'm sure you guys would get it if you lived here. We'd get it if we lived here. Hmm? Oh, is, is that, that what I think it is? They finally came back! <laughs> We're back. We've just arrived home, everybody. Welcome, Welcome back! back! Hmm. This nice warm weather we're having sure is comfortable. It does feel pretty good. Yeah, I slept like a lot during my last lecture. <gasps> so I'm quite full of energy! <laughs> oh, would you please stop doing this to me every day, Tina Simpai? <laughs> Hey, Mayu, how far are you tagging along? Well, if you must know, Mayu is invited to spend some time at Hanabi Shisama's house today. What do you mean today? If you haven't noticed, you hang out with us every day. That's merely a coincidence, I assure you. I don't remember anyone inviting you in the first place. Mayu makes her own rules in this case. Did that make sense to anyone? <laughs> <laughs> You see, Uzume welcomed me, so I'm invited. Whose side are you on anyway, Uzume? It looks like Uzume has gotten used to Miss Mayu being around now. <laughs> Operation Kiss the Squire first to kiss the night is proceeding as planned. Oh, hello there. Welcome home, everyone. Hey there, Aoi-chan. We're back. Huh? Hey, what's up, Hanabishi? You're late, you know. Suzuki? Sato. What are you two doing here? We're moving, can't you tell? You guys are moving? So then you guys are going to be living here with us? Huh? huh? What the heck are you talking about? Hey, don't jump the gun like that, Hanabishi. Mm. Mm. Ah, guess I fell asleep. Chika-chan. Chika. Are you starting to wake up now, Miss Chika? Mm -hmm. Ow! Big brother! <laughs> Just a minute there. What do you think you're doing with Hanabishi-sama? I'll let Chika keep doing it. Yay! I won't allow this to continue! Get away from me! <laughs> what exactly is going on here? Miss Chika is a new tenant, and she will be living in this house with us starting today. Chika's a new tenant? Come to think of it, she did tell me she got accepted into a high school here. It looks like we're going to be together every day from now on. Look, this is my school uniform. Neat, huh? Wow. I wore it here because I wanted to show it to you. 
<laughs> well, then two can play that game. No, Hanami, she's a mom! Hey, what are you trying to pull here? Oh! Are you all right, Karasama? Here we go again. That is. What? What's this? You wouldn't happen to have a problem with a guest who's been officially invited, would you? Oh, this manager! <laughs> Can't you say something to the guest? She's pretty mean to me. <laughs> Please don't fondle my breasts. Huh? Sorry, bad habit. That is no excuse, Miss Tina. No, I'm sorry. But oh, please forgive me. Jeez, Tina Senpai. What a sad instinct. We weren't introduced. I'm Ruka Sayonji. Oh, uh, uh, hello. It's very nice to meet you. I'm Chika Minazuki. It's nice to sit out here at night and watch the cherry blossoms. Yes. The stars are beautiful, too. Yes. Uh... Uh, you know, Aoi-chan, if you're looking at me, then you can't see the cherry blossoms or the stars. That's all right. I want to watch you right now, Kaoru-sama. Uh, really? Uh, oh. <laughs> uh, uh, Aoi-chan! Oh, I apologize. Were you not able to breathe? I could. It's just... Well, you kind of caught me by surprise. But it felt great. Uh? Karusama, honestly. <laughs> Sorry, but you know, I wouldn't mind if you did that again. Uh? Won't you do it again? Uh, Karusama, please don't look at me like that. <laughs> I'm just kidding around. Yes, I suppose. Uh? One more time, right? There! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> In the past, I always felt very lonely during this season of cherry blossoms. You did? Why? The cherry tree is our family namesake, and there is a large one within our estate. Every spring, I always looked at the tree and thought to myself, I didn't get to see Karusama last year, but maybe I will this year. I always wondered if I would be able to see the cherry blossoms with you someday. But since we've been reunited, I was able to see the flowers with you this year. And that's why right now, I feel very happy, Karusama. Aoi-chan. We'll see them again next year, and the year after. We'll make sure we always do. Always. Yeah, always. We'll be right there! Shall we go back, Aoi-chan? Hey, come on, Karusama. Mm. I wanted to play some more. Come on! Wake up, Karusama! I guess I fell asleep. Sorry about that, Aoi-chan. Hmm? What's wrong, Aoi-chan? Uh, nothing's wrong. Oh, then let's play some more. Sure. What do you want to play now? Um, um, hide and go see. What? Again? Uh, hide and go see. All right, that's fine. 